Yo ho fellow pirates, how are you doing today? How's everyone in chat? Uga, Orange, I don't know if Denson's still here, he was here before we started. Sorry, Mother Today was giving the gift to her. Well, say hi to your mother. Uh, live chat on screen. Yes, live chat was on screen on the starting stream, starting stream uh, uh, overlay. Uh, I didn't want to do it in game because I think it would be uh, too crowded. But if you guys think it would be passable, I can, I can, I can adjust it. It's not that difficult. I already had it somewhere. Uh, let me copy and paste. I can put it on the game as well, but as I said, I think this is too crowded. It, the no, you're not seeing it right now. Do I have to do this? Now you're seeing it. This might be too crowded. Let me know. So, hi, how are, how's everyone doing? Let's actually start following the boat that we're playing with. Um, happy to see you, thanks, happy to see you guys as well. Uh, Bad King, hi, hi Bad King. Uh, Marco Santiago, hi Bob. Can you do some tests with Django, see if his, he's good or rage, rest, or rage restoration is good? Yeah, let me, let me, let me go make a list because I have some things I want to be trying to figure out how, if we could test them right now or if we could even uh, maybe test them right now or, or maybe test them and put them in a, in a sort of Mythbusters video. Can you change the color black on dark blue is hard to read? Now you're asking difficult questions. This, now, now that's, that's the actual difficult questions. Can I, can I change the color? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think I can. I, I know that, that it's hard to read on the, the, the black on the dark blue. That's why I only put them in the other uh, scenes, but uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, why why isn't this working? Let me let me Okay, so if you can't read it, why have it on the screen? I, I have no idea how uh how I would able be able to change the text color right now. So um yes, like uh fifteen minutes ago uh the SOC server dropped um how did they how uh, the 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 how is it called the captain's log that's there it is so i wanted to uh go over some of the questions uh they were they were asked and some of the answers and well let's first discuss if we agree on the answers if the answers are good enough so uh so let's, uh, th that was what I was planning uh, at first, but let's see what in chat, yeah, we had, let me make the list first, because otherwise I won't be able to do, I'm not going to do anything. We had Django testing, and yes, I wanted to see if Django um, does anything with uh, uh, health restoration. So that's something I want to be testing, uh, but I think, and uh, Marco was saying if it's good uh, or if rage restoration is good, that's something I would like to test, but I wouldn't know how to actually do that at the moment. Um, that gold though, where are you at, Bob? That, what gold? What gold? You mean the fifty three point one million? I can I can I can hide it. <laughs> I can, I can make it so you don't see it anymore. Look, 
Nah. Here. Now you don't have to look at it anymore. <laughs> so, that, so you're not tempted to actually start thinking me. Um, uh, Kat, Kat, uh, Katera. Hi. Hi, Katera. How are you doing? Um, yeah, so uh, what I still wanted to do was something I did with Denston before. That was the drowning damage, but I was, uh, uh, wasn't was looking at the, the, the screen correct when we did that. So that's something I still want to test. Uh, the highest level, uh, the, no, the highest health. Um, so those are the things that, that, uh, that come to mind right now. Uh, Bob is the super trader. Well, Bob is currently not focusing on upgrading his flagship. And that's the reason why I have 53.1 million um, gold at the moment. So the only reason I have that many is because I'm not spending. It's not because I'm earning uh, massive amounts. But it's mostly because I'm not spending. So uh, first, let me go to see... The captain's log. Um, the captain's log said, uh, first question was, we've noticed the ship part system differs from the previous one. Well, I think we all knew that. The ship system is not always clear to players. Uh, sometimes we are not satisfied with the parts we get. Do you plan to examine and modify this system in accordance with player feedback? Their answer was, we commit to carefully considering player feedback and suggestions on ship part systems to figure out if any adjustments can be made to make it better going forward. While analysis and calculation tests take time, we kindly ask for your understanding and patience and we will keep you updated. That's something like, I know you're not satisfied, uh, but we need to, we, we, we need to figure, still figure out why you're not satisfied. Sort of answer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this actually is a very, well, it is a politically correct answer. Um, look, my opinion about the new ship part system is they tried to make the ship part system it's an opinion it's not from uh from fun plus or anything it's my personal opinion and maybe 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 let's put some of the music in the background while we're while we're uh live streaming um my opinion on the ship part system and I, the, the, the reason I think that they changed it is to make it easier for starting players to have seven shift different different ship part systems while starting the new uh, the, the, a new game is confusing to a lot of beginners. So they wanted to have a defensive set with the sovereign of the sea and uh, an attacking set with the blade of freedom set. That's what they wanted to put in the season one. Nobody else in season one can get any of the other sets at the moment. So that's what they did. They made it easier for starting players. What I don't like is that they also changed it for people that were already doing, uh, that were already collecting sets. So maybe you're halfway across a set that you wanted to do. Now you can't finish it because you'll never, you'll, you'll not be able to get anymore. But with two sets and four pieces that you can get, like the sail, the, the cannon, you have eight different options you can get. If you can get a legendary, the the I think the reason that they dropped the amount of legendaries that they they were dropping is because if everything's a legendary, nothing is legendary. So you have to be sort of excited when you get a good part. In previous up the previous before the update, they just gave you f two, three, four uh, uh, legendary parts per monster that you killed. You had dozens and dozens and dozens per day. And that's something they changed. So it's I don't think it's a bad thing. If you're getting a legendary part in season one with two sets that you can get, there's like once there's a one in eight chance that you're getting the, the set and the thing that you can do. 
then there are also stats that can be on there. So that dilutes the thing you can do even more. If you have like three or four different uh, stats you can have on a cannon, of uh, the cannon is always the same, but the helm or the figurehead, then it dilutes it more. So now we're talking one in 24, like if there's three different. But as soon as you start adding five extra sets and you s remain on the lower drop rate, then you can have seven different sets with four different parts, with all three different thing, uh, three different um, uh, stats, and the number that you're when you're getting a legendary, the chance that you're getting uh, that you're getting the legendary that from the ship part set that you want with the base stat that you want, that's that's just so low. It's it's better if it's easier to try to get a legendary hero with one conch. I think I think those odds are way higher than getting the good ship part so that's that's my opinion uh uh Denston, if you have any restrictions on chatting i have someone that cannot write in chat here maybe that's i i'm i may or may not have subscriber only chat on i think that that might be the only restriction i can have i don't i don't even know you, I, I never put it on. I, I don't think I ever put it on, but I, I did have to change some some settings. So that's maybe how, why, why it could be on. So um, the ship parts, the stats in S1 is rubbish. All equipment is the same stats. Yes, uh, love S1C. That's, uh, that's also a thing. They changed it so you don't have that much RNG. It's good for starting players. It's good for players that don't want to min-max anything. It's bad for players that do want to min-max anything, like myself. Yes, that's the ask if, it, if they're subscribed. And if you haven't, uh, if you're in chat, you probably are subscribed. But if you're on the uh, live stream and you want to go chat, and for some reason you can't, then please hit the subscribe button because I think the settings might have been subscriber only. Um, so uh, there are 10 things in the captain's log. We only discussed one. So let's go to the next one. The more players join the game, the higher the chance of facing toxic and unethical persons. Please add a feature to switch to different servers to avoid playing in an un unhealthy environment and have the opportunity to unite with friends. Uh, their answer to that was great news. The option to transfer servers will be added in our next update. However, certain restrictions will apply. Stay tuned for more details on this matter. Uh, I'm thinking certain restrictions will apply. The restrictions might be a pack you need to buy to actually spend money to, to get to another server. That's something I'm, yeah, that it's, it's something I'm fearing that, that the requirement will be, the restriction will be. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if it's going to be that, they're not saying it. But I'm fearing the fact that they're doing that. So, so number three is when can we expect the stamina to increase? And their answer was thrilling news. In the next update, we will increase the stamina maximum. So that already got like 87 thumbs up. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, it, do people think that the stamina the regeneration for the stamina is going up as well because I don't think it's going to be that. It's just going to be the maximum. Like the 1500 that you got right here, I think that will be increased so, so that you don't have to be online or have to be doing the entire thing within a 24 hour period. If you're doing like three or 5k, then you have like uh, two or th two and a half days to do it. Um, I think people will still hit to hit the max if they're not if they're not getting them on the 1500 now then they probably will still hit the max but um, I intentionally left them for today right now so that's why I'm so high um, so fourth question was can you share the main features you are creating or you are currently working on 
And their answer was, sure thing, pirates, besides that uh, what has already been mentioned above, we are also working on the following features, like giving you the ability to block another player. Like Newt Newt. Um, maybe. Just, just, just a suggestion. Uh, introducing an event calendar for future activities in the game. Improve the gang order system and other gang features and more details will be shared in future patch notes. Stay tuned. And to that, I personally reacted in the Sea of Conquest Discord uh, to the person that posted this. More details will be shared in the future patch notes. Stay tuned. Where are the patch notes from the previous updates? We are still waiting on those. So um, <laughs> maybe they'll post patch notes next time. I don't know. I'm hoping. Um, we would like to see logs or uh, of activities in the gang, such as who initiated attack or savviness, declared ports, or fort captures. I don't know what they mean with fort captures. Oh, the the stronghold things. I think excellent recommendations. We will take them into consideration and work on implementing them into the gang section. That's like good suggestion. We don't have the time for that right now. That at least that's what I'm reading. I don't know if that's the actual thing, but. That's what I'm reading. After the flagship reaches level 22, would you consider expanding the ship's storage area so pirates can fit more cabins inside? Worry not, ship space optimization is already on our list of enhancements. Patiently await pirates. Is this the list of, uh, list of enhancements? Is this list as big as my ideas for videos list that I'm making I, I'm, I'm getting like five ideas before I even post one vid ne next video so um, people are probably still waiting for my season two video that's not even drop red so uh, if this list is just as long as my video list um, yeah that can take a while uh, probably uh, probably not be happening uh, within the within March but um, for next they said, we'd suggest you implement a percentage-based speed up for the hourglass of time. For instance, 7.5% speed up of the total time required with a minimum of two hours. What are your thoughts on that? Their answer is, thank you for your suggestion. Your suggestion was received and we are considering upgrading the hourglass of time to provide longer speed up durations. So they're thinking about it. It's, it's on the list. It's, it's on the list. Um, next is, we eagerly await more opportunities to obtain golden conscious in-game events and challenges. One of which is adding five or 10 conscious in reward for finishing seasonal trials. I think that's a very great suggestion. Um, they also did great suggestion. We will review the list of rewards in trials and add more juicy prizes to provide you with a better uh, game experience. I think that's an amazing suggestion to put to put an end of season thing in the in the in the trials because now I was only doing the the end now you're only doing the three star things to to get some emeralds and yes it's a good amount of emeralds but it's 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 emeralds it's not it's not massive it's not a massive amount uh Next question is, thank you for optimizing the in-game notification and improved in-game chat. We appreciate these updates. Other recommendation, another recommendation is to add the time and date to all messages in the chat so we can see when they were sent. And their answer was adding timestamps to chat messages is in progress. We will be plan, uh, we will, uh, and we plan to release this feature next month. So next month, sounds like April, so might be an April Fool joke. <laughs> no, no, no. That's I'm just joking around. Um, uh, if, if they would do that, that's great. But most chat messages aren't. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm thinking about gang chat, and that might not be. Uh, that might not be relevant because gang chat usually moves pretty fast if you're in an active gang. But if you have DMs, then then it might be useful to see uh oh this was a couple hours ago he probably doesn't need me anymore um 
So, last question is, are you planning to enable the friend list feature in the game? Having a friend list function will be fantastic for us to stay in touch with our favorite pirates, like Numbers Bob, more quickly. Um, they didn't actually say Numbers Bob, but I'm adding that in myself. Um, their answer was, thank you for bringing this to our attention. The development team is working on the list feature and will introduce it soon. So, that's something. That's, that was the captain's log. That was what the game was saying that they were planning on doing. So I hope you're excited about some of the things. Um, I think the transfer of servers can be interesting. That could also mean that entire servers will empty out very quickly. But um, other servers might be benefiting, benefiting from it uh, much more. So let's see what we have missed in chat. Anything that people were saying? Um, hopefully not on our game. I played the higher you were, the more it cost to switch servers. Yeah, that's that that that's that's, that's something I'm I'm afraid of. Um, Orange expects that to happen as well. Yeah, it might be. Uh, Sensei, Sensei, how are you doing, mate? Um, come on. Why is it not showing anything? Yes, that's back. Um, since I was saying more stat regen would mean more hero XP on people, that would mean less purchases for hero XP, so no, they will not increase that. That's That was exactly my thought. There will not be increasing the, uh, the amount of um, uh, regeneration. They just want to uh, upgrade the maximum. But I think people are excited to see the fact to see the text more stamina and they were excited. Um, KS2K was asking, what are the best ship part stats to focus on? I think the best ship part stats to focus on are usually attack. Uh, if you're uh, on, an, uh, on an, uh, an offensive ship um, or HP and armor, if you're on a defensive ship, um, you could also, when you have very high attack stats, you could also switch it out a little bit to the, how's it called, the, what's it called, the, the crit rate or crit, uh, uh, crit rate or crit, crit damage. Those are also, uh, pretty good in my opinion. So, um, that's, that's some of the best ship part stats that you can have. Um... Need more events to climb Revel a week. Yeah, the 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 gold event. Yes, I, I I agree on that. Hey Bob, can you see my chat now? Yes, I can see your chat now. Um, I can't read your name because it's um it's uh, buff all buff. I, no, I'm not even gonna try. But I can see your name now, and I'm asking you, how are you doing, mate? Um, Uga is missing power. What is um? Wh wh what's wrong? I'm not doing. No, Denston is not doing his trials. Well, that's not good. Um, drop levels by twenty when we can talk. Then then we can talk. Oh, they're pro talking amongst each other probably. Bob, when are you talking about uh, sets adding and the odd was too low? My suggestion was there that let Kraken drop the existing sets and certain and Serpent draw the next two new sets. So if you want to farm the existing set, they can farm Kraken. But if you want a new set, you can farm the Serpent. I don't think that's a good idea. They wanted to make the game easier for, um, uh, for, uh, starting players, I think they did because they never mentioned it. Um, but that's the same reason I think they did it. Um, so um, I don't think they want to have the old sets in there anymore. And especially not on the new servers. They don't want to have that old set anymore. I think it's a bad thing that they changed it so suddenly. So people didn't... Well, they didn't change it suddenly because... In this case, there were patch notes out like two weeks before... Uh, the actual update came, so in that case you could be uh, running, but since it was RNG based, it's not like you can actually farm those. Uh, can you see my suggestion, Bob? Yes, I just wrote it out. Uh, Mehmet says, hello, Bob. I say, hello, Mehmet. How are you doing? Uh, Ian, hi, Bob. Uh, how do you usually test things? I found... 
Uh, testing extremely unreliable. Yes, testing is extremely unreliable, uh, but that's because you don't have a lot of information. Um, and that's, that's what I was trying to, to see. I want to do some testing. I want to maybe do some testing on stream, but we also might have to think of some ways to do certain tests because uh, certain things are, are pretty difficult to actually test. Um, so uh, let's see if what's what else. Anybody running people in the wrong ship spot like a captain in the gunner seat curious if they're worth it or if the buffs are just too strong. Uh, Orange, uh, I was looking at that like a week or two weeks ago. Uh, I was trying to figure out if putting a, a legendary hero that is not on the correct uh, seat, let's just call it that, um, would be uh, better with his stats than uh, the bonus would. And in my case, I was um, uh, comparing Mad Dog, who is on the correct seat right here. And if I were to remove his trinket, because then you can see his actual values. He has 938 and 626 with the all attributes bonus applied. And if I were to switch to Barnacle, let's also remove his trinket. He is not in the correct uh, spot, but he is 919 and 600. So let's see. We were 919 and 600 and 938 and 626. The difference is pretty small. It's... Uh, it's not as big as the plus 20% would suggest. Uh, and also keep in mind that I have a mad dog at a way higher rank than I, for example, have Barnacle that I only have at rank three and this is like rank 12. So that's also a thing uh, that is determining it. But the difference, if you're considering a, a purple hero that is on the correct spot or um, a legendary, if you're having um, if you're doing it because you really like one of the skills that this legendary hero has and you don't like the, the, the skill the other one has, then um, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a good way. No, what I want to... Um, then you can switch it out and the difference in stats isn't that much. But that's only comparing a purple one to a legendary one if you're doing legendary versus legendary then of course the difference will be 20%. Uh, you like mixed drowning and burstling sets personally. Nah, that's what I thought that you were asking because that, that that's why I wanted to, why I showed you. I also was trying it uh, earlier. Um, uh, Anil says, hey Bob, great stream as always. Do you think 4% damage is better than 4% attack? Oh, that's a difficult one because we don't know the actual um, calculations, the, the actual formulas and how the game calculates damage. But I would say that because the 4% damage is um, in the end, on the end of the calculation, that that usually does more than the 4% in attack. Also, you don't have that much damage uh, upgrade as you do have percentage attack stat upgrades. So the let's go to this. Uh, look, if you're saying 4% attack, then this it, this will gain 4%. And it, it says 104%, but it's the bonus. So you have to add another 100% to see what it is. So the base is 100%. So this, this would become, in the calculations, would become 204%. So putting an extra 4% in there is more diluted than, for example, this one. This, this ship doesn't have any upgrade in. Um, that's less diluted, so that would mean that it should be stronger in attack. Um, again, if 
tr me trying to test it uh, gave uh, um, different numbers. So I don't know. Uh, because but be that's probably be also because of the fact that how is it how, how to tell how to say it how to say it the the crit rate and crit damage also um, changes up your my test because if you want to see okay I'm changing one ship part with higher damage instead of higher attack what does this do and you attack the same freighter for the second time then you can see then you can see a difference but not you're not taking into account that the one of the previous ones could have way more crit hits than the other one or it could even be so that on one of your other ships you got more crit hits and that means that the percentage that the ship you're testing uh is 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 going down so yeah it's it's usually those crit hits is what what um uh, mess up the testing for me what Ian was saying who is most strongest in your server who is the most stronger in my server let's go to the leaderboard and say hi to Arkwolf Arkwolf is a level 35 that is max for season 2 with 54 million that's the highest level player from my server uh, if we're going to look at all servers it's still Arkwolf uh, but he has some people following close behind. Uh, D Dog is also level 35. Ariana is level 34. And Ayer Knacker is 33. So uh, he has some, uh, a, some sort of a competition. Uh, if we're looking to the other servers that were paired with in season 2, but on our personal server, he doesn't have much competition. Um, that's a good thing. He's on my same, he's on the same gang as me. So. <laughs> that's a good thing um i'm doing good bob well i'm great to hear i might have missed the subject on the level 25 gears that's supposed to drop at monsters 44 so you mentioned this already uh we're hitting 46s but only getting 19 or 21 drop mostly helms yeah that's that's the newest update for the ship parts for you um, they're not dropping any more 25 ship parts. Uh, we're doing level 50 monsters, and those are still not dropping level um, uh, level 50 ship parts, uh, 25 ship parts. So uh, I have been told that in season three, when you're going to 52 monsters, that the 25 ship parts would be back. But I, I, I that's it's what I heard. So. Uh, VIP twenty VIP five and twenty eight million. Uh, yes, yes, I have VIP five and I'm at twenty eight point six million. Um, I'm I'm doing my best to optimize anything I can, uh, and I'm not spending um, a lot on the game. So. Um, uh, ship parts, attack percentage, or damage percentage. Snowman is. I think I uh, answered that question just before. You might have already answered. Uh, <laughs> you might have already gotten the answer. Um, I think damage percentage. Um, uh, if you want the full explanation, go back in like five minutes in the live stream. <laughs> then we'll probably be having the full explanation. These devs need a manager. Yes, Uga. Uh, they need a communication specialist. That's what they need. Um, ship, uh, I mean, armed freighters, not general testing. Yeah, gen armed freighters is what I usually do some testing on, but not not anything is is good. Take a look at your hero configuration. Or yes, sure. Um, my heroes on my level twenty five ships are Ahab, Cursed Ed, and Armstrong, all with shields on there for a, a very high armor percentage and a very high HP. My Stormbringer, which is my Blazing Stormbringer, has a high attack, and I put Lester, Tanaka, and Ned on there. Tanaka is a Season 2 hero. If you don't have uh, Season 2 yet, you should put Will on there, uh, if you're doing the Blazing set. Uh, these trinkets are Blazing and Drowning damage, and for the... Tanaka, it's the same blazing damage. Um, and this trinket, the Tyrant Hand, is an attack increase percentage. 
Then I have my Fearless Princess, which is supposed to be strategic damage, but I don't put strategic damage on there because I don't have Lu I don't have Boa or have Molly, so that leaves Griffin for me, and I also want to use these heroes as well. So that's why I put these on there. Uh, since it has pretty high attack, I put Cordelia on there as well. Two Tyrant Hands on there and an elixir on there that increases the healing efficiency by 12%. I also tried to do a tyrant hand on there. Uh, that would mean that my attack would go up. That would also mean that Ophelia and Sharky are benefiting more, but the health, uh, the, uh, the, the healing would go down. So 18% from the, or what was it? The eight, yeah, the 18% from a tyrant hand uh, or the 12% healing effect would mean that my healing would go down and I uh, am very defensive on the healing uh, on, on, on most of my ships so that's why I put that on there. Uh, then I have a purple Warhammer that I built in season 2. You don't have to uh, you don't have to buy the one you can build one in the season 2. I put bones on there and I put Luna on there uh, again to Tyrant Hands. Again for the same thing I put uh, Madame Lulu on there for the heal with a high attack stat and the spy glass increases the attack by 6% and for every 5 seconds the battle lasts it should go up for another 6%. So when the battle lasts like 15 seconds it the attack stat would increase with 24% which is of course more than the 18 the tyrant hand does. Um, only in this case the 75 is only showing uh, this attacks that and not the ones that are actually being added in build in in, um, in battle later I have Focused on an impact stat here because this ship has when the ship deals cutthroat damage It will inflict armor an armor piercing effect to the hit ship and the ship affected will have its armor decreased by 24 for the following five seconds, which is a very low number, but and by an additional seven and a half for every 20 the ship 20 impact the ship has so saying that i have 3k uh where's where's my calculator where's my calculator why am i not getting my calculator there it is so 3k divided by 20 times seven and a half means that 1100 uh, of this impact is going to an armor how do they call it armor piercing effect and it will decrease the armor so it will decrease the armor of my opponent by 1100 that's why i'm uh, focusing on impact on this ship and also have a blade of freedom set on there because that does attack stat and impact stat so uh, that's my setup um and i'm behind on chat so uh, sorry if i skipped through your message because chat just keeps jumping um ian says i heard th at the moment blade of freedom is the best set in the game even with full artillery team would be better with uh blade of freedom is that true um yes blade of freedom is my preferred set as well but uh, my stormbringer has a burning crown and my uh, fearless princess with the artillery heroes has a queen of revenge and the reason i did that because i was incredibly lucky on some of these upgrades um, these are the old ship parts you can see it's still like level 18 ship parts i'm not even going up to 25 i'm not even bothering with going up to the uh, the new ship part system because this is just an amazing increase this is is a new sh uh, ship part system uh, this was an old ship part, which I was also incredibly lucky with attack stats. And here again, attack stats and attack stats. And I think the ship update, uh, the ship part update, uh, took away the fact that you can have attack stat as a base on your sails. I haven't seen one sail that has an attack stat on there, so that's why I'm keeping this one on there for now. Um, and going to my blade of freed of my stormbringer again incredibly lucky incredibly lucky this is a new set so i did put that on here and again incredibly lucky so this 
does more for me than any Blade of Freedom set would ever do. So, uh, and that also, if I go look at my Blade of Freedom sets, I don't have that much. I don't even have very good ones. Crit damage, that's, that's, that's a good one. Uh, if you also would have a, a good crit rate somewhere. Uh, strategic damage, our attack damage, uh, normal damage and more attack. And again, impact, sailing speed, armor, and sailing speed. Like I said, those new ship parts don't, I don't think those have attack stats anymore. So that's why I'm um, still using the old ship parts. Um, since we are speaking of incorrect team tests, uh, not sure if you were in the Discord chat when we were a few days ago, would you think Adeline would go well with Lester and Tanaka on the same ship? Um. Yes, that, that, that depends on the stats of the ship. I was trying to see if I would go with a blazing and a drowning hero on this ship because this has the severe damage skill and that means that when the damage over time, burning and taking on water damage inflicted by the ship, there's a 10% probability that it that the affected ship will have its armor decreased by 48% or its uh, no its impact it was decreased by 48% or have its armor decreased by 48% in the case of taking drowning so if that would be burning damage it would decrease the impact of the opponent ship and if it would be drowning damage it would decrease the armor and I was trying to think of a way that I would be able to do and blazing and drowning uh, damage over time from this ship, but the effect can be uh, the effect can be triggered at most once every five seconds. So that means that it would be very um, inconsistent um, if it would do an armor or a blazing, or that depends exactly on what what after the the five second cooldown is over what would be the one um a hero that triggers after that and i think that's that's a very unreliable way of doing that um also don't do blazing and drowning if you have a skills like this on your ship increases blazing damage but decreases drowning damage um so that's not good uh, what is the combat power of the first ranking? Well, I think I showed you. Let's like 56 million. 54. 54 million. Um, is Adeline or Magnus worded at, uh, it at, on, at online with two stars? Um, Magnus, I don't know for certain, but I would think it is because... I mostly like Magnus for his first skill. No. No. Where's his ag Where's the aggro? Yeah, his first skill. And not for the attack damage, because that's really low, but for the aggro. And if you're in season one, that would mean that you have a 320 aggro that you can do uh, compared to Armstrong that does 160 so it's double the aggro of armstrong and that's why i think he would be worth it his shield is something i'm i need i need to do some testing on but i don't have them so i can do the testing myself but i've heard mixed stories about the shield uh working properly or or even not not working good at all so um, I've heard people saying it's amazing. I've heard people saying it's worthless. I would have to do testing, but I don't have it, so I can't do the testing. And we're full on stamina. Let's quit this trade route and start attacking some uh, freighters as well. Okay, some other updates. There's a mysterious package from the Borealis Sea Season 2. And um, this gives a free Tanaka. Uh, newer Season 2 servers have gotten an event where you can get a Tanaka for free and uh, a Trinket with his Katana also uh, in as a reward for doing those events. Um, us older servers haven't had that. So I think it's a good thing that they're 
um, giving this Tanaka for uh, for the for the people that are missing out compared to the newer servers that are uh, are having a, are are able to get him uh, in a sort of free to play way. So let's claim him, and uh, in this case we can immediately upgrade him from rank three to rank four. There we go. That's like sixty seven. Okay, power as well. And what's the next skill? After Tanaka performs his skill, there's a 25% probability that he will extend all damage over time effects on hit ships with two seconds. This is a very good one because, um, what was it? For blazing, it was five seconds, and for drowning, it was 10 seconds, right? Or. I don't know. I did the ship part. I did the ship types, the the damage types video, but I don't. I can't remember anymore. Um, I can't remember from the top of my head. Maybe because someone can remind me uh, if it was uh, uh, five or ten seconds for for blazing. But uh, it is a very good skill to to have the uh, more bla more. Uh, what was it more? Uh, more damage over time, yeah, for a longer time. So that's a good thing. Uh, and I think it triggers every one second, so that means two extra damage over times per stack. So that's I think that's a very good thing. Uh, damage is multiplicative and attack is additive, which means only uh, only from mat damage is better than attack. I do agree on that. I don't know if it's multiplicative. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's an in English term. I'm tr I'm having more trouble with the English than with the math. But um, yes, I think uh, all and I think also because the damage stat is more diluted, is less diluted than the attack stat. Um, it would be it it would be better from an, a math point of view. Coyote says you can test on me. What what I'm so far behind that I don't even know um, what. Uh, wh what I was uh, mentioning that I wanted to test. Uh, we need your luck, Bob. Uh, yes. Yes, I've been very lucky in Season 2. I won't deny that. I've been very lucky in Season 2. As I, as you can see, I have two Legendary Stormbringers and I, was, uh, I wasn't I was planning on doing it, but uh, I, I do have them now. So I've been lucky uh, for that. Uh, I've also been lucky for the Tanaka... Uh, I pulled him live on stream in like the sixth conch that I did. Um, yes, I have been very lucky. Let's start attacking me some freighters because my stamina is full. Uh, the reason I'm attacking level 47 freighters and not 50 is because the level 47 freighters give me 5 purple and 7 uh, blue books. And if I would spawn a level 50, it would give me, there's also, there's already a level 50 there, five and seven. So it would mean that I'm um, uh, taking more damage from, uh, from a freighter and not getting any more benefit from it. You do get more adventure points, but since I'm at the maximum of level 80 right now, I don't actually care about the adventure points. So uh, that's why I'm doing selecting level 47s myself uh, right now. Let's empty their cargo. I haven't done anything in game yet. So, well, we can do some 50. If, if someone else is doing them, I can join them. Maybe he needs the adventure points. Uh, but did I see also a level 47 patrol spawn? I don't think that's all the message, but I don't think maybe it was near me. There's a level 50 patrol. So let's collect all the chests at the same time. Take a look, you have like 1550 adventure points for the level 47. And like, um, I need to watch out that I don't attack an ally on stream this time. Come on. Let's try to see if we can actually get through an entire live stream without attack attacking an ally. Accidentally. I uh, want my account to test it, Bob. Um, yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know what I was telling when people are uh, offering me to help testing. 
Um, which of the three season one heroes do you recommend going for? Um, I really like Bones for his trials because um, that's, that's an amazing ability. The same can be said for Griffin. I used him for trials a lot, but since I don't have a full um, ship set up for uh, what's called strategic, I don't use him on a ship, but he is very good uh, for that. Um, yeah, my my least favorite of the three would be, I would uh, if I would try to rank them, it would be Bones would be my favorite of the three. Griffin would be the second and Ophelia would, would be my third. But it's just a feeling that I have in it's it's not um, backed up by any any testing or um, uh, damage. And it could also differ if you have a higher rank Ophelia than you have a Bones. You, if you can get a higher level Ophelia, a rank Ophelia, um, she would probably be better than Bones. But yeah, it's it's... It's 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 a question of what do you have and um, what can you uh, what can you get? Ah, there's Denston. There's Denston from chat. He's also on the screen. Let's attack. <laughs> no, 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 not attacking him. Not not attacking another ally on stream. Yes, attack. What's the problem? No, why? Why was I getting the message that a level 50 freighter was too much? Did I click something else than a level 50 freighter? I have no idea. There it is again. Level 50 freighter, attack. Yeah. Why is it saying that it's too strong? I've been beating that the entire month or week. And now, well, we, we don't have it unlocked for a month. But at least like a week or two. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm missing so many, uh, Cristiano Ronalpin, uh, okay, thank you, Orange, uh, can you switch guilds if you're uh, on a, a different server, uh, if you mean gang, uh, no, you can switch gangs to another server's gang, um, it is possible to, uh, to do that. Uh, if you're talking about guilds, guilds are the things you can get reputation with. Um, so um, I do want to well tell you that that uh, if if you're saying guilds, then that's the thing I'm I'm usually thinking of. Hero use skills in rogue. Yes, hero in rogue rumble, the heroes are uh, also using their skills, but you can't select which one uh, you want to be using and you don't want to be using it's 100 percent automatic um, and it's not like that in the trials you can select the opponent in trials you can select what what you what opponent you want to target what heroes you want to have their skills trigger so um yes rogue rumble is completely automatic um marco santiago says i have blade of freedom cutthroat 20 percent with impact and attack 20 percent for my warhammer which are better if I choose with cutthroat stats, I'm dropping power. Um, yes, uh, but if you're saying you're dropping power like this amount, this, this number that is above on the screen, I wouldn't uh, look at that too much. Um, I could have had way better uh, power stats if I were, if I wanted, but I'm not doing that because I don't care about this number. I don't care about how high this number is. I care about the fact that people see a level 25 ship and they think, well, a level or level 26 in my case, a level 26 ship, well, I can beat him and then they attack me and then like 30 seconds into battle, they realize, uh, th uh, 30 seconds into battle, they realize that all of a sudden they can't beat me and they have to run away. I like that. Uh, weaknesses of a ghost ship. Uh, I don't think the ghost ship, like like in the event, the undead revenge ship, 
have any specific weaknesses. Uh, they don't do much damage to you. So I would say if you want to get high rank damage on there, just before you know that they're going to spawn, take out the healers that you have on your on your ships and put another hero there um, uh, just for, for attacking that because uh, they don't do a lot of... Uh, uh, they don't do they don't do a lot of damage, so you don't actually need a lot of heal. So, um, uh, Cristiano, I don't believe there is a way. Is a uh, uh, Bob missed me zooming past the sinker guy. Uh, who did you sink? Who did you sink? As long as it wasn't a nil, I'm okay with it. Um, guys, what's the best configuration for ships in season two? Uh, that depends on the heroes you're getting. If you're getting very good drowning heroes, then you should focus on drowning. If you're getting very good uh, blazing heroes like I got, then you should focus on the blazing. Uh, I sank June, the level 28 for 55 feet. Yeah, well, I don't care about June being sunk. So uh, if I were to notice, I would have joined you. But uh, I'm looking at two screens at the same time. I'm a guy. I can't do two things at the same time. So the fact that I'm already playing the game and sort of half talking to you guys in the chat that's that's already an accomplishment by itself so um uh, why not artillery may i ask i do have artillery on this ship but i don't have uh there isn't an artillery ship on there so uh surreal that was saying the best ship configuration yeah it as i said it depends on the luck you're getting and on the heroes you're getting uh, depending on that, it's it's um, it's it's very dependent on that. Um, and then Alan says thanks for the videos. They're they're helping us. Um, is this Alan from Fifty Five V Alan, or is this just another Alan? Because if it's just another Alan, I'm gonna be asking how are you doing, mate. Um, and if you're from Fifty Five V, then I yeah. I'm, I'm hoping it do I don't help. But um, ask, uh, uh, talking about another Alan. Okay, okay. Then, then, then I already like you more than if you weren't. <laughs> uh, do I still have the stamina to do it? Yes, I still have the stamina to... I saw their patrol spawned. But it wasn't near us, apparently. Well, apparently it wasn't near us. But at least we did some uh, we did some things for uh, for that. Um, what else? What else? What else? I still have a free conch I, I need to use. Let's see if I can actually get a a legendary hero from a free conch. I'm still hopeful. I'm still hopeful, and not just from the pity points, but actually from a free conch. No, it's a rare one. I'm still hopeful that I one day would get a legendary hero from a free conch i would enjoy that very much wiggly deals claim value packs claim and subscription i have the 150 trades one because i'm a trader i'm a money guy i'm always busy with gold let's claim all of these it was a bit too quickly Let's see another 200 points and another claim on the VIP. And the rogue, the straight clashes has, has have reset. So let's see if we can do some of those. Um, as you can see, I'm 18.78 million power for a level 26 ship. I think that's extremely good. I've seen level 30 ships that haven't uh, don't have that high power rating so this is the actual power of your ship and not the 28 million that you're seeing in the um, in the top of your screen on the usual bar um, this actually is how strong your ship would be in uh, in a battle compared to the rest and I'm now seeing that you guys can't see the health bar let's Well, in this case, I won, so you didn't have to see to look at the health bar. 
Um, so I'll try to maximize the points that I can get. There it is, level 27 ship that still has 16 million power. I probably would be able to beat him. But you, start, you guys can still see the percentages, so you can still see how much health it has left. Just the bar is gone from the uh, uh, from the things above on the screen. And as you can see, the most damage is being done as soon as Tanaka uh, uh, triggers. And that's his flagship sunk first. That, that's, that's not very good. Seven, if you're here, if you're ever watching this, fix do some more defense on your flagship or less aggro uh, who's this that's i don't know you know who he is but he's a high uh, points value to get back uh, you're guaranteed to pull a legendary f if free pull is your 100 yeah yeah that's what i'm saying i don't want to have a free hero from pity points um, I want to have a free hero uh, just from the fact that they have a 1% chance to get it. Uh, Alan says he's new to the game uh, from server uh, 317. Well, I hope you enjoy the game. Uh, I really like them. I really like the game. I've been playing this for like 80 or 90 days. Um, so um, I've been addicted to it ever since I started. So I hope you're, uh, you're liking it as well. Um, Let's see what other you seem uh, you seem not value crit stat that much on your build. Yes, I do have a crit stat, but what what I'm trying to focus on is to have a crit to have it at one. Um, I lost my thought process. Where is it? Oh, crit rate. Here, the crit rate, 75% and the crit damage. I have a high crit rate and uh, a, a bit of a crit damage built on my Warhammer with the Cutthroat set. I don't have it on the other sets necessarily because um, Blazing does damage over time, but the damage over time is not dependent on... It doesn't do crit damage. Um... Uh, ghost ships when do they level up and why don't I get chests more because there's a maximum amount per event that you can get a chest from just like the monsters that you can have each day there's a maximum amount of chests you can get I think that's eight in the uh, monster the ghost the ghost event one also I can still do these I'm not going to be buying packs and I'm not going to be doing blue ones. So let's refresh all of these. Okay, quick tip. If you're getting this gang racket thing, do not do any blue events. People are doing blue events that they're getting 400 points. You're, you're trying to get a high point value and the, the limitation is the amounts of attempts you can do. If you're doing something that has 400, you can, uh, you're, you're getting like five times, you're getting 2K points a day. If you're doing things that give you a thousand points, then you can do, then you're getting way more points each day. So that's why I'm focusing on specifically higher number, higher value things. Uh, if someone wants to buy it, I'm, I'm leaving it right there. Um, I have to use this because of the um, emeralds that I had from from the port explorations. Also, if you want to do the these eight hundred, that's okay. And also, be careful with this donation one because this donation one requires forty donates. And these forty donates, if you're doing the non-emerald ones, you can only max them out on twenty. You have a maximum amount of ten hours to complete the uh, the gang racket i would try to suggest to make it as quickly as possible because you're keeping a spot for your gang mates so people that are using the blue ones are uh, um, occupying a space that these are doing these blue ones and haven't completed them they're occupying a space that i can't refresh right now i only have these amount of refreshes everyone's using something 
try to complete them, try to select them, and then try to complete them as fast as possible, because we want more refreshes and we want more orange attempts. So if anyone's here, try to do them as quickly as possible. What is aggro? Aggro is the chance that your opponent will hit one ship specifically. So I have a very high defense, armor and HP uh, setup on my flagship. And I have heroes and trinkets that increase the aggro. That means that the chance that my flagship is being hit is higher than the chance of my other ships that doesn't have that much defense um, on there. So that's what aggro is. Uh, I'll now time my rogues rumble and straight when ghost ship happens, lol people dropping healers. Nom nom nom. <laughs> yeah, um, the rogues rumble doesn't happen because the rogues rumble is the uh, hero setup and that can just be a defensive thing that you can set up. But um, the straight clashes, yes, yes, that, that could be a strategy. That could be a strategy. Um, what I usually do when we go back to this one, let's, uh, well, when his flagship sings first, let's teach him a lesson that it's flagship. Let's see if his flagship sings again first. Um, uh, okay, I can uh, put add on, uh, yes, you can put add on the captain's seat because he's a, tr a jack of all trades. You can put him on any seat and still get 20% bonus on his uh, stats. And in this case, his flagship does go down again. So uh, seven, if you're ever here, uh, more defense or less aggro. This is a level 26 that I can probably take. Yeah, 15. Here, there you can see, this like 15 million power on a level 26 ship, and I have 18.7 million power on my level 26 ship. And I'll show you in a minute where that, where a lot of that power comes from. Um, a lot of that power comes from your heroes. Uh, a lot of power comes from uh, uh, having your ship upgraded with the captain's quarters and the drill hall and all the cannons and all those sort of things. But a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of my power comes from stargazing. Um, if you're not focusing on your stargazing, you should, you sh definitely should focus on your stargazing. Every season, a new skill tree for stargazing is unlocked. So in season three, uh, I have two stargazing uh, trees at the moment. And in season three, there will be a third one. I'm almost done with this one, but I'm not focusing my speed ups on this one anymore because I wanted to, this one to run out naturally. I'm focusing my speed ups on this one. And then when the third one comes along, I have three running at the same time. So every one day of real life, 24 hour time, I will get at least three days of the stargazing done. So that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm focusing on. These are giving so many things. Every generic speed up I have. So like if I go to the speed up, these are specific for speed for, for stargazing. But all of these ones that are generic that, that you can just have for uh, anything that you do. I've spent all of those on stargazing because I want to have my stargazing as high as possible because every update, everything I complete here gives me an actual thing that helps me in battle. Because if I try to complete, for example, my, uh, what's this thing called? Liaison's office. Yeah, liaison's office. If I complete it, then the amount of helps can go up by one. It's it's good. You can get one minute of reduction on every build that you do. If that's the thing you want to focus on. Yes, it gives me 19 million power on the top bar. That gives, this will increase by 19 million. But it doesn't do anything for you in battle. And that's why I'm focusing on my stargazing. Armor, attack, HP. Everything comes from your stargazing tree. And um, that's what I'm focusing on. And that's why I'm, I think, probably the strongest level 26 player that is on the this map currently. And that might be a bold statement, but I think it would be a correct statement. Because if I were to go to the leaderboards, all things, I'm 36th right now. 
if I were to go to, for example, Davy Jones, he's level 27, BK UK is level 28, Matsi is level 28, Captain Grimhelm is level 28, Ryan Leon is level 27, Dragon Shaman level 27, Amigo level 28, Azu level 27, Ghost Ship 27, Perulus is the first 26 that is getting close to me. Let's see if we can go the other way. 28, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29. They're actually going up quite significantly. 27. Mars is a very good uh, setup as well. So if I were, I'm hoping that if I get to 27, that I at least pass Mars on his uh, uh, strength. These are all 28. These are all. 28, 29, 30, Peyote, who's in chat right now. Oh, I've, I've, I clicked on, in this case. This is what we call um, Pingu, and uh, we always play the sound Noot Noot from Pingu. Um, Danger Froggy, 28, Sparrow, 29. Yeah, I think I'm probably the most, I can, I can easily say that I'm the strongest to level 26 right now on the server. And I'm beating level 27s and level 28s uh, more than uh, more often than not. Uh, what was it? In this case, this was a team effort, a level 32, but uh, 26. This was also this was a very easy battle. Level 26 was a very easy battle. He got away with the uh, uh, level. This is a, this is a. Thing. This was also a team effort, so I'm not actually beating level 31s, but it was a team effort in this case. Uh, where is it? I was attacked by some guy overnight, I think, if I can remember. Where was it? Where was it? I was attacked by a higher level guy overnight. D-Dog. Yeah, well, I'm not going to be able to beat D-Dog, but... Uh, Sparrow here, a uh, level 27 player who was trying to uh, sink me while I was auto trading and it didn't go well for him. So um, yeah, in this case, th that's what I want to do. That's what I love about about my setup. Uh, people thinking that I, ah, that's a level 26, that's easy. And then uh, they later find out that it wasn't as easy as they thought. Um, so uh let's see where the chat has come so real world server are you from level 57 yes coyote and orange were already answering uh, level uh, server 57 uh matthew says what's the new system matthew why are the stats of each ship part i get every day the same legendary blade of freedom cannon all have attack 32 and impact yes yes that's since the last update they changed that it's they made it easy. I think that the reason they did that is to make it easier for players. But I don't think it, it's 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 a good update if you're not really into optimizing your ship that well. Um, but it's a bad update if you want to min max uh, things. And I'm a min max type of guy, and I don't like the fact that it's there. What I do like is that if you're changing out a ship part now. You're changing out, for example, an attack-based stat ship art for an impact-based stat ship art, and you can attack the same player again. That doesn't change any of the other things. So it's for testing purposes. I like the fact that all secondary stats are the same, but that's only for testing purposes because I want to see what the difference in one of them makes. But um, that's that is uh, that is what uh, what I was thinking. Uh, Surreal's asking, "Hey Bob, what the, what's the season two meta according to you? The season two meta and what and also of course the big feature in season two is trinkets. Trinkets has given me such an amazing, amazing, amazing amount of power. It's insane what they do for uh, for power. Um, let's see. Do I want to keep this? I got it for free. I don't really need it, but." I'm probably not going to be using that. 
it's it's only does blazing damage but trinket trinket is the most important thing save up any of the conscious you have on the end of season one any of the normal conscious you have and pull as many trinkets as you can because you need a purple trinket to put on your hero then you need six more purple trinkets to scrap to upgrade this one purple thing because to get these stars you need a purple trinket scrapped each and every time so one two three four five six seven eight eight i have eight fully upgraded purples that means that for eight to i have to have eight i need to do that i need i needed 56 of them and with them pulling every uh 10 conscious i needed to pull on an average 500 conscious in this season and um i've been lucky that on the first time i pulled them on stream i usually got two or even three purple ones per 10 conscious so i was getting lucky in that case um but that's what you need that's what the thing is and um the legendary ones the, the a not upgraded tyrant's hand is uh, worse than a fully upgraded other thing, a uh, blue uh, say, uh, thing, because you can see 89 and 62, and a not upgraded is 50 and 35. So a fully upgraded blue trinket is better than a not upgraded for the same level uh, purple one, but that isn't the case for legendary ones because uh, if you can see if 340 and 240 and that's 360 and 240 that is not the case for legendary ones you don't need to have them upgraded for them to be useful i specifically try to get this tanaka's katana to uh uh, to a higher rank and if i were to pull another legendary somehow i would probably scrap that and put that in there as well um but uh oh yeah <laughs> orange is saying that my spyglass has 666 power yes this is the spyglass to look into hell um that amount of conscious yes the amount of conscious is insane but the trinket system doesn't disappear after season two so it doesn't mean that you have to have it completed at the end of season two you can still try to uh, uh, use that in season three as well well i'm on stream let's pull some heroes <laughs> just try to see if we can get lucky and we can make some people jealous that's a purple one, at least that's the new hero. No. Two more. No. One more. No. Ah, I was hoping to make people jealous. So. And now I hand it in. That's way this list is as clean as possible, people. We need everyone in your gang needs to complete their task as quickly as possible and don't do any blues do not do blue ones because the points value you're getting is way too low please mention that in your gang as well uh you just ended season two do you have any tips for the specialization overview you just entered season two when you have any tips for the specialization overview um, when i show you my specialization overview it's gonna be different from yours and yes there's been an update and no there hasn't been any patch notes so i can't help you with that i want to help you with that but i can't to get these in from this information i made a new character last week and I can switch to that new character that is on a uh, season that has sw uh, switched to the new uh, specialization tree as well. I've been sunk. <laughs> well, if that pleases you. 
slot like I've been here for like seven days. Um, if I go to season two right now, I need to complete the the plot, the 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 the, the entire thing that I, to, to do that. So this is gonna be a very different, a difficult path to to get to very quickly. So I was hoping to get through the tutorial phase and then see the new season specialization thing, but I have to go through the entire path of of uh, unlocking all of these things discovering ports unlocking trinkets uh, uh no uh, artifacts i have to unlock all of those things and then do all of the clues for the main plot and i'm like why why can't you just show me the season specialization i want to see that so um sorry i can't help you with that i wanted to do that um if there are any people that are in here from an older server there is a gang loot this is also a new server special thing that old servers don't have but it does something but i'm currently in a gang that is very inactive so uh, i also want to see this happen so this is still a thing that i want to uh, want to do and uh when I get the chance to actually see the new season specialization thing, I will be making a video out of it. Um, but unfortunately, I can't do that right now. Um, hello, I'm new to the game. I ask, what's the difference between damage percentage versus attack percentage for ship parts? Attack percentage is this statistic that is shown right here. Um, if you have any heroes that have skills those are based on the attack stat uh, of the of your ship so that means that the higher this stat is the higher the skill will be that your hero does but if you're doing the other damage part it comes down to this one it is mathematically seen it is better to have the damage than to have the attack percentage but that isn't taking into account that your heroes are doing skill damage based on your attack stat. So I won't say, I don't know for sure which one is actually better. Um, yes, Bad King was saying that there is a new gift code for International Women's Day or, or I don't know what the holiday is called, but if you're a woman, congratulations, you're a woman um but there is a redeem code c queen 2024 so if you haven't used this yet go use it there's a gift sent to me by the inbox and it's a very small uh, one conch 100 emeralds and some um speed ups always good always good yes auto trade um this week's rogue rumbles quit i was ninth that means that i got this rewards i was fourth in the rogue rumble and uh okay so we're now getting rewards each week apparently we're getting rewards each week if i knew that i would have jumped tried to jump up to third last night um i have the same parts but one is damage while the other is attack yes um try to see what does best for you yes yeah, it's, it's 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 very hard to say we don't know any of the calculations i would love to i'm a numbers guy i would love to do the math on you for you to see what is better but we don't know any of the math that is in the game and if we do some testing for example, you put the one part on there first and then you try to attack a freighter and then you uh, put the other part on there and try to attack a freighter again, then um, that would give you what is better. But that also, that doesn't uh, show you how many crit hits did you do? Because on one build you could have done, uh, the, on the better build, technically, you could have done less crit hits, but so in the report it's showing you it's less efficient. So yeah, that's that's a very hard one for me. 
Um, so, a lot of people keep asking me, what do I do, what do I use for trials? Uh, I use the same for trials as I use for Rogue Rumble. And in this case, I'm going to show you what I use. I use Luna. Why are these here? I use Luna, Tanaka and Bones. Those are specific for what I want to do. Uh, Tanaka and Luna eliminate any enemy that is there within the first round. They do so much damage in, in before even the first round ends. My personal preference for healing goes to um, Ahab for defense goes to Ahab because if you put on a shield your hero doesn't get damaged if you have if you have to heal them afterwards that they first have to take the damage before they can actually be healed that means that if they are low on health they can be killed and if they are killed they can be healed so that's why I prefer shield over heal and um, since I have a pretty good Lester uh, I also do Lester because that's AoE damage that attacks everyone that's here. So let's see if this setup works for me today. As you can see, there's Tanaka. He does exactly that. And the enemy only has 30% health left. And there's a bug where it stops after round one. And this is... I think it's a there's a bug, but I don't know if it's a visual bug where you just can't see the end of the battle or if it's actually ending the battle after round one. Because if that's the case, then this setup that I currently have that does a lot of damage in round one is very overpowered, but uh, that's, that's taking advantage of a bug. So, um, yeah. Um, Star Sanket says, today my season three start. Is there a tip you would need to give me? I am don't I haven't been in season three so far, uh, so I don't know. Uh, personally, I am looking forward to um, be able to get Obi because I want to have him on my flagship, uh, especially since Obi and his trinket, his trinket, his specific trinket focuses on armor, um, but also his skill triggers off the armor stat of your ship. That's a new thing. I like new things. So that's a good thing, and that's where, am I, where I am excited for. Uh, so, sorry, not Season 3, Season 2. If, you're if you want to go to Season 2, then I would say focus on, uh, on the trinket system. The trinket system, 100%. I have stopped pulling heroes for like the first 2-3 weeks of Season 2. I did every conch that I had into trinkets. That gives me so, so, so much power that trinkets is the way you need to focus on. Um, so as soon as you get trinkets on the way and you can upgrade some of your heroes to higher levels, go back to your trials of season one that you probably haven't completed yet. You can switch it over to your season one trials and you can complete them within a very uh, uh, short amount of time. Um, I can click these... Do I want to have to want to annoy the people with OCD? No. Okay. Not today. I'll be happy. I'll be helping the people with 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 uh, with the OCD, and actually claim it. I usually uh, leave it right there. Uh, currently, I'm uh, trying to see if I can have Queen Landing up. Um, I'm hoping to start using her more on uh, trials or straight clashes. In this case, I also had prepared the uh, the master pipes for her, so that's a good thing. Um, I can enhance the katana for Tanaka further, and that gives me a total of like I don't know what was it, thirty to forty k more power. Uh, did I drop? I had I had with with. Changing out some of the heroes. Yeah, this one. I can still... I have... These I can put on there. And I can put this one back on there. And yes, this is completely 100% fake power. Now I'm at 28.7. Uh, 
the heroes have gotten me power and I'm not using them. So this is completely and utterly fake power. That's what I'm calling it. It's fake power that you're not using in battle. But the number goes up and higher number equals better. So let's see if we have another one. This is 2400 minutes. Do I even have that amount of speed ups right now? Because I did a small push earlier. Yes, I do have it. What was 2400 minutes? 2400 minutes divided by 60 is 40 hours. So let's go to racket. Let's select it. And let's do it immediately, people. If you also have this event, do it immediately. Not have it stack up in there. Um, one. Let's go use it until it's... Oh, let's just use it all. I don't care. Why does that keep showing? And there it is completed again. So if you want to do them, complete them as soon as possible. Don't leave this entire list full of things that you're doing right now. We want to have more refreshes. So quickly, people, quickly. Uh, Matthew Earls is saying you'd have to test like 50 freighters with each build to compare the average. Come on, you're a numbers guy. Yes, yes, that's that what that's what you have to do. But Matthew, keep in mind, you can only do 24 traders every 24 hours. So that means that you'd have to do 12 of one type and 12 of the other. That's not a big enough number. And as soon as you go 24 hours later, then you would have to make for 100% sure that you don't upgrade any heroes, upgrade any star, finish any stargazing, finish anything else. Because otherwise the testing from the first 12 batch would be um, different than the, the testing from the second 12 batch. More stamina in this case, as Orange is saying, yes, more stamina is good in this case because I can save up like 5k stamina and then exactly do this. Like 30, uh, 30 uh, freighters with one ship part, 30 freighters with another ship part and then compare it. But doing that with like 12 of each part and then waiting the next day, not upgrading anything, not doing anything that gives you any sort of power difference, that's a hard thing to do. And that's why I'm not doing it. Um, that rogue rumble bug messed me up in the fight. Lost my fight with a guy that had um, uh, level 72, level 71 heroes. Yes. Yes. For some reason that bug is really doing a really bad. And if you're saying that you're losing to a guy that has level 72 or 71 heroes. I think it actually is true that it's ending the battle after round one. And for some reason, uh, I don't know what it's doing, but uh, why it's doing it, but it's for me, it's beneficial. So I'm not complaining, but the fact that it is a bug and it's been there for like a week now um, and they haven't fixed it yet because well, they, they have fixed other bugs because earlier this week I wasn't able to claim these and now I am. So uh, that's that's a bug that was already in the game as well, and they have fixed that quickly. But for some reason, they apparently don't know about it, or isn't there isn't an, a quick fix for the rogue uh, rumble thing? So yeah, that's uh, that's that's a shame. Um, but in my case, it's it's m often beneficial with me doing a lot of damage. Um, Damston. Uh, you could be looking into changing your season specialization in doing 20%, 24% more damage in the first three rounds after entering the battle. I'm specialized in that and that gives me a lot of damage in the first round as well. Um, so that's, that's, that, that could be a thing that, that, that helps you while this bug is still ongoing. But if, any, if everyone does that, then probably won't make a difference again. But, okay. 
Uh, let's see. Challenge records. Who have I? I've been defeated a lot. Coyote, have you been focusing on me again? Then Vaughn, Arkwolf, all again, of course, Arkwolf's attacking me. I did lose this time. The, the number one player in the server is attacking me quite often. Um, I lost that time. But here there is a version where I won. And I think there were... Here, those are two more victories. Uh, I lost two times as well, but... Uh, I did have two victories against... I had three victories against Arkwolf. And I'm cherishing that moment very good. So let's play it back. I want to show you guys. In this case, I'm red, he's blue. So we're looking at it from, my, uh, from his perspective. I did so much damage in round one that his bones went down. And that's uh, the exact same thing. Uh, that's the exact reason why I probably won. Because in round one, I killed his bones. That is the sole reason for me probably beating him. Because if his bones would still be alive, I'd be dead. Um, in this case, there wasn't a bug for level one, for round one only. So um, that's, that's a good thing. Um, that you can see the actual entire battle. Um, I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm losing. I'm, I'm currently going down. But then my bones comes in and that's one shot. And for some reason, he's attacking a lot of my heroes, but for, he's not actually killing one. He's not because it's not focusing on one hero and just doing damage to all of them. All of them can still hit back. And that's the re that's one of the reasons, plus me killing his bones in round one, that does it. And there comes my bones again and another one shot. And now he's going down further. He's going... Uh, to 20% health, 17% health. And he's going down further. And let's my there comes my bones again after he does his skill. My bones comes again. But unfortunately, it didn't trigger to Ophelia, but it triggered to Magnus on a shield. Um, and uh, Ophelia was still there. And because Ophelia was still there, she was able to do this. Bang! 7% health left. There go two of my heroes. So it's now a 2v3. Two, a two but I still have Tanaka. Uh, I put a heal. Uh, but Tanaka is attacking my own Lulu. I put a shield on. Uh, Tanaka killed um, Ophelia. And now uh, Tanaka is slowly going to be attacking Magnus. And Lulu is healing me back up again. But I was down to like 7% health and he was at when he was at five percent health i don't think a battle can be much closer than that um uga ultra choppa in the chat uh, he says boo um yes um did you see the time i attacked you uga if you want to see a close battle we have to look at this one you're on your way back well drive safely look at this battle you're looking from my perspective Yes, I'm, you're looking from my perspective, but that's because I don't have Queen in there. Again, I do a lot of damage before he does anything, um, but I don't kill anything, so that means that he kills my bones. And now I'm in trouble. But my Lester comes in, he does some damage to me, and I have 6% left. So that was, uh, yes, Uga almost beat me. I, uh, Uga almost beat me. And uh, that's something to be proud of, Uga, because uh, as you said, you're at level 24. So um, yeah, you got a great setup there. You got a great setup there. And that is um, also the reason why I'm currently working on upgrading Quilanting because I want to have that in my um, uh, Rogue Rumble setup as well. I want to switch out maybe Lester for Quilanting or something. Uh, that Luna had a 60 skill. Oh, your Luna had a 60 skill. 
Yeah, that probably was the, 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 the defining moment in that battle. If you would have a 70 skill, it probably would have been. So yes, I'm focusing on Queen Lanting for, for more upgrades on that. I'm just in port, doing nothing, just talking. Let's go to the treasure cove. Let's go to my treasure cove. I need to put more treasures in there and show you guys, it, who haven't seen it already, I'll show you guys my treasure cove. So while the ship's on his way, I want to have a quick break. So uh, I'm going to be getting a drink for myself because my throat still hurt. Uh, my throat is uh, hurting a little bit. I don't know if you can you can hear it, uh, um, but I'm I'm hurting a little bit. So I'm going to be getting a drink, and I'll be right back in uh, in like a minute or so. See you around. And we're back. Well, at least I'm back. I don't know about you guys, but I'm back. Um, before the <clears throat> before the break, I said that I was uh, having a little bit of a sore throat. That's kind of a story because I last month I was sick. I had a cough for like three weeks. And I think last weekend, I finally got rid of the cough and it was gone. I didn't have anything anymore. So last weekend and like Monday and Tuesday, those were cough free days. And then Wednesday, I got a sore throat again. So I picked up another bug, I think. So I just... I'm, I'm lucky in the game, but not in real life. Let's just call it that. Um, and uh, as I wanted to show my treasure cove, here it is. This is my treasure cove. This is Bob's treasure cove. 
And no, I'm not trying to spell out Bob, but if I could, that would be great. But I don't. Um, the way I do this is by putting my ship right there and going to the treasure cl uh, clues that you can have. I click on them and I pay three instead of the one to spawn them near me. And in this case, I can spawn several treasures close to me and make my uh, treasure cove bigger. The reason why I do this is because I'm waiting for a Lord of the Sea event Monday. Because on the Monday from the Lord of the Sea event, you, can, uh, you get points for the amount of gold you sell items from. And if I have to sail around the entire map, that's inefficient. Because, but now I have all of this treasure close to a port as I can have it. And I did put it above a port and not actually right outside the port because I was hoping to actually do some things here as well. Last week on stream, we got stream sniped a little bit by some people from 55V. Uh, all of the whales came to visit and uh, uh, we were having a, an out, a, port, a battle outside of this port. Um, and that, uh, at that point, I was happy that these were above the port and not actually outside of the port because I couldn't click any person if it would be in here because all of these things have uh, override, uh, have an override uh, if it comes to, to, to a player. You always click the treasure first. If there's a player behind it, you can like sort of sneak behind it and it won't be visible. So uh, that's my treasure cove. Um, that's what I'm using. Uh, that's what I'm uh, uh, accumulating for next Monday. Uh, this Monday will be a Lord of the Sea event for us. So I'll probably be selling this off this Monday and it won't be here anymore when you, uh, uh, when you, when you guys will be at the live stream next week. So what's anyone who has said during the break? Matthew was saying is a level 7 or 8 star rare better than a level 3 or 4 star epic or a level 1 to 2 star legendary hero. Um, it's there's a very a pretty easy way I can I think I can show but I'd have to switch characters again. This character is only uh, just past the um, what's it called the tutorial phase so I don't have any heroes on him so that means everything is locked and the reason I go to here is because everything that's locked I can click the max level and see the stats so um, if you're looking at the the step up from a blue hero to a, a purple hero isn't that much. You're, you're even you're even not getting any any value. So this is even higher. The uh, oh, it's <laughs> why is this character all of a sudden in Dutch? But the strength and uh, and the constitution are are the constitution is higher, but the strength is lower. Um, so yes, if you're able to switch out. If you're uh, technically high rank blue heroes are better than low rank purple ones because the step up from if they're equal rank, the step up is insignificant. There's there is no step up, so that means rank is your step up. But there is a step up to the legendary ones, so yes, one or uh, you'll never get a one star legendary hero but at least a two star legendary hero always is better than uh, uh than a high rank uh purple one well not always but it could be better than a high rank purple one but that is not the case for legend for uh for blue or purple ones but orange is saying that he skipped the per blue heroes as soon as he got the purple ones uh, I also agree on that because uh, you have to upgrade them. But uh, at first, the expenses you, you're not getting as much XP, and that XP um, 
you, later in the game you're getting significantly more amounts of XP. So that first 20 levels that you put in a Django or that first 20 levels that you put in a Zola, that's not going to be an extreme amount that you're missing on a later level, in my opinion, because you can get way more doing that for a later level. So that's my opinion, Orange. I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with you that you can skip them, but um, uh, yes. I still use this hero. I still use Armstrong. To this day, she's still on my ship. Uh, solely because I don't, also because I don't have a Magnus, because that would be her replacement. But um, yes, uh, I don't have, uh, I still use the, the blue hero and I'm not salty on in any way uh, that I'm using a blue hero. Uh, because she's very good for me. Let's go back to my normal character. Yeah, I wish there was a way to reset heroes so we can do some testing. Yes, um, they have been saying in the captain's log thing that they do, um, that there is something that they're willing to do. So um, yes, they're, they, they have been saying that they want to do it, but they, they, I think they even said in an upcoming update previously. Let's see if we can find the captain's log that had that. Um, the captain's log that had that was increasing stamina. They've been saying that for like weeks and weeks and weeks now. So... Um, no, I can't find it quick. I can't find it really quick. Development teams. Uh, I don't know. If anyone's in 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 the Discord, maybe they can find it. How long ago? How long they've been saying that 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 it's going to be implemented soon? But um, yeah, well, soon is still like weeks and weeks away in this case. So don't expect it to be there. Uh, Bad King says, I'm in season two, but I still have season one hero plackets. How can I get more to get a hero? Uh, what do you mean? You get, yeah, I'm still, I still have hero one, uh, season one hero plackets. How can I, uh, get more? Oh, you mean these? Or not? Or do you mean anything anything else? Can you please let me know if you mean anything else? Uh, yes, we're still waiting on the unlearning update. Yes, but in my case, what would I what would I unlearn? Probably will because I have a replacement for him, Oscar. I would unlearn Betty. I would get the experience from that but the first 30 levels look it's like 4k to upgrade her it's like 9k to upgrade him this is the point where it's getting high hefty from 40 to 50 that's the problem that you're getting this is a significant amount of experience this isn't level 25 2400 level 2400 yes it is experience of course it is experience this I haven't upgraded, but apparently now you're getting uh, heroes at level 8. So, uh, yeah. So, but uh, I wouldn't do that with Henry L. Because Henry L, you have land incidents that require his strength, constitution, agility, dexterity, or speed to have a certain stat. So if you're not, if you don't have that stat, you can't do that land incident so you need to upgrade him for those land incidents so if you don't say if you say well i'll just leave those land incidents and not do them th that's up to you of course uh, if the xp is more valuable to you but that's why i put him at 50 i don't need any more so that's it um besides raw stats are there uh, there's also unlocked the third ability to be considered yes um, the abilities have been uh, the abilities for some heroes the, the, the second or the third ability is very good I really 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 want this one for bones for example 
because when Bones performs his skill, there's a 30% probability that it will perform it once again. And it can ha uh, if this, the effect can be triggered at most uh, once every 35, 15 seconds. And since the usual cooldown for hero things is 10 seconds, um, that means that, well, for every three or four um, times uh, Bones does his attack, it would do it another time. And that's like a 20% bonus on uh, on his skill. So, yeah, that's that's something I really would like to have. Um, past, this po past this point, I think this uh, makes him do less damage in total instead of more damage in total. Because it gives 11% uh, more cutthroat damage and decreases 10% other damage other damage and where you can see that stat is it will give 11% more of this cutthroat damage but it will decrease this damage so you will have a minus here you will have a minus 10% right here and that also means that if the ship is doing um, a basic attack that it will do lower basic attacks because those basic attacks aren't cutthroat and I think that since this stat will also be in the calculation for cutthroat damage, that it would negate each other. So I think that is a very, very, very bad skill. Fun plus, if you're listening, I don't think you'll ever listening to this live stream, but if you're listening, go fix that. Because I think, in my opinion, that that stat, that skill is doing less damage if you're getting to rank four instead of more damage when you're getting to rank four. So fix that skill, make it 5% less other damage, make it make make all of these go down like burning, taking water, artillery, strategic, make all those go down like minus 5% or minus 10% or, or anything, but don't, don't mess with this damage type because this will, dam will decrease others will do less damage over time so and since you want to upgrade uh, any of the heroes you're getting you're eventually you can't opt out of well i want bones at a high rank but i don't want that skill so yes fix bones please uh, i think that's that's something that shouldn't be in the game as it is right now that's my opinion and that's where i'm stating uh viras uh hi viras how how are you doing mate um one depressed guy what skills on warhammer could be considered decent um i'm happy with the skills i currently have uh so i'll show you the skills that my ship has um i'm i i think these are decent um i'm not that much of a fan of art of war because uh them uh, 6% damage to non-players. Um, yeah, I, I would, since uh, Cutthroat is a player based, of, of, of a good for, for PvP, I wouldn't want to have that on uh, on a Warhammer. You can have that on, uh, on a Blazing or a Drowning set, that's okay, but not on a Warhammer. Uh, increases the impact by 14%. I really like this one uh, because of the last one I'm going to show be showing you. Decreases the aggro by 18%. That means that this ship is less likely to get attacked instead of the other ships. That's also something I'm liking. And I like this one. I really, really, really like this one. When the ship deals a cutthroat damage, it there's uh, uh, it also inflicts a, pier a piercing effect that decreases the armor by 24 for 5 seconds and by an additional 7.5 for every 20 so the fact that I've stacked up to 3000 impact means that I do an armor decrease of 1100 and I really like that. So that's something I really like in that ship. Uh, let's see if there's other things in here. Uh, the hero skill that has dealt the most cutthroat damage in the previous 20 or 10 seconds will be recorded. And every 20 or 10 seconds in battle, the ship will launch a skill that deals the recorded damage 
uh, against the targeted flea. So that means that if you have a really good Bones on there, for example, it would do the exact same skill that Bones is doing again. So that's a very good thing as well. Um, when a ship performs a basic attack, there's a 20% chance that it will deal 100, 150 or 200% damage of its attack of cutthroat to the target and the damage will increase uh, as the target's current hp decreases up to 50 70 or 100 um, this is also of course it's good because you're doing extra damage but if you you can't choose but i think these are the least of the three this of course is better because you're doing every 20 if you're getting a legendary one of this, of course. If you're doing a legendary one of this, then you're doing every time Bones does his skill, he does it again. That's in fact what he's saying. If you have a good Bones or if you have a good uh, cutthroat damage hero on, on the ship, it does that same damage, that your highest damage again. So And it does it every 10 seconds. And in this case, it doing every... Uh, one in five chance when you're doing a basic attack and I don't know how often you do a basic attack attack I think it's like two or three times every five seconds so that's I would say that's less but also the percentages like 100 150 and 200 percent or maybe have it up to uh, 300 percent even uh, that's nothing compared to what Bones, his skill, usually already does. That's like 430. And if the, um, if the target is wounded, which means is below 50% of its maximum health, that's the exact same thing as the, uh, the other thing was saying. Com the combined, these do 650. So that's way, way, way more than the, uh, than the 300 it was doing on the other one. So if you can get the... The middle one instead of the right one that's also a lot better i'm not going over going to be going over the entire list because that would take me like an hour i already am very long in giving uh, a long winded and giving answers so um i hope that helped can i use a jack of all trade captain since i don't have bones yes you can do that um yes it's possible you can use a jack of all trades hero there. You could, for example, put your Cordelia there. Um, but if you don't have um, bones yet, it, it won't be as efficient. Uh, Luna is a very good hero. I like her a lot, but she's doing way less damage um, than bones usually does. I can see that. Let's see if we can see that in a report. Uh, in this case, I do more basic damage than I do skill damage, but uh, but that's against freighters. Do I have something? Well, let's see if it's the same. No, why is level 30? No. Let's see. This one, for example. Uh, I'm doing none battle this short that I didn't do anything oh apparently come on let me let me see some heroes let me see some stats there we go um, look my bones does 200 and the well 2 million uh, damage and Luna only did 700k and this is against the player so if you're actually going up against the player and you're doing some things then bones is something if you want to have a cutthroat chip and you want to have a cutthroat pvp focused build um, bones is something you could focus on so if you don't have him yet and you have a warhammer um, i would say um, go for go for that um, your wonder breast guy is saying one last question stormbringer or warhammer if you don't have bones go stormbringer go stormbringer first because if you don't have bones why 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 specifically need a warhammer you can you can try a warhammer but i would say go for bones <clears throat> my voice is uh, cutting out apparently 
Yes, so um, a question, um, Kuang Rung, say, uh, hi, hi Kuang Rung, how are you doing? Um, one, blazing or drowning? That's a question I'm getting a lot. Uh, people want to know what's better, what do I, what do I, what do, what do I prefer? Um, I prefer blazing, but that's because of the heroes that I have. I have a six star Lester. I have um, a four star Tanaka. And of course I have a, uh, an, an, a rank eight net, but that's, that's not very impressive. But compare that to what I have for drowning. Then I have a three star Barnacle, a six star Eileen and a seven star Mad Dog. This is just less. I could uh, I could have focused on Adeline, but I didn't. I focused on Tanaka because I already was running a drowning set. And I think this Barnacle was ranked two even when I started season two. So uh, I was already focusing on, uh, on a, uh, a brazing set. So I didn't want to switch over to, an, to a drowning set. Also, I have my doubts about how good um, attacking the ship with the highest HP in the target fleet is because I want to have my opponent's ship die as quickly as I can so I want to focus my attacks on the ship that is low HP that's what Cutthroat does I know but if, the, if this has a higher... T if the opponent has four ships and Barnacle, for example, targets the three ships that has the highest HP, it's specifically leaving out the one ship that has the lowest HP. So if I do Drowning and that doesn't do it to the highest HP, there's a higher chance that if someone would do target three ships, that it would also target that one ship that was already at the... Uh, that was already at low HP. So I want to sink the one that has the lowest HP. That's why I prefer... Um, uh, that's why I prefer blazing instead of drowning. But um, Orange is saying, I like drowning to make Cutthroat do more damage. I don't know what you're saying with drowning and Cutthroat do more damage. But why would Cutthroat do more damage if you use blazing uh, drowning, Orange? Because you were saying... You want to target the ship that has highest HP, make that the ship that becomes the lowest HP, and then let Cutthroat take over, and then uh, and then end it off with Cutthroat. Is is that what you're using? Drown four sets ship parts is ten percent more skill damage taken by enemy under dot. Oh yes, yes, that is something, but that's ten percent more. That's that's ten percent more. It's that's not a significant amount. One attack on a ship that has low HP would do better. In my opinion. This uh, these are also heroes that do at, uh, attacks on three ships. And attack f at most five ships. So this attacks everyone equally. This attacks everyone as much as I can. So that's why I like that's why I like blazing more than uh, I like drowning, because I want to focus my attacks on the that one ship that's already at low HP. The cutthroat ship will focus on that, but I also want all my other ships to have a chance to target that ship. Uh, Tanaka is for free in season two. Yes. Uh, Tanaka is for free in season two. Did you spend any money on the game? Yes, I also did. I bought myself the Fearless Princess. I unlocked uh, Cordelia in the beginning of the game. I'm, uh, I unlocked the 150 trades, but that's about it. I've played for 80 days, 86 days, and I'm still at VIP five. I have not spent on the money on, on the game that much. 
I have done as least as I could, as good, uh, as efficiently as I could. For example, Magnus, pay only hero, haven't got him. Boa, pay only hero, haven't got her. Because I don't think I need them at this moment and I'm not going to be, um, uh, be spending on them. Um, I don't spend this much. I don't spend much on on these kind of games ever. So in this case, I spend on the fearless princess, and I spend on things that I know I can keep. If I know I can keep using this, I might consider spending on it a little bit. If it's not an absurd amount, look, I'm not going to be spending 120 bucks or 110 bucks for a a, a, war, a legendary warhammer in season one. That's just not me. If, you're, if you have the budget to do that, do your thing. If you have the budget to get Magnus, do your thing. Um, I'm t trying to, to I I'm still going to be trying to beat you while I'm not spending money. That's my challenge. Try to beat the spenders. And yes, all of these games have pay to win strategies. You will become more powerful when you spend more money. But in this case, I think it's possible as you can see, VIP 5, and I'm at 28.7 million. There was a, a guy with uh, Asian Chinese characters in chat before that was saying the exact same thing. VIP 5 and 28 million power. Yes, it is possible. You just have to be efficient with what you're doing. Um, and uh, make sure that you uh, focus on things that, that are important. Uh, what's the chat? What's the chat saying? Um, thanks for info, Bob and Orange. No problem. Uh, we don't get it. Matrix show Tanaka one. Um, yes, Tanaka is for free in season two. Um, I don't have him unlocked, but if you can, if you have this tab, there is a tab below this where you can have another event that's going to be a season-long event. And you have to scroll through it and you can get it. I can show you on another character that I have that that has it if that has this event. Um, um, we've got ours in the mail today. Yes, that's also correct. Where do you find out drowning is attacking higher HP and cutthroat? Um, it's in the description. Uh, love S one C. What love love sick? Love sick? Is that what your name? is should be um uh got free tanaka just not the whole quest line yeah we didn't have to do the entire quest line we did get the free tanaka but we didn't have to do the entire quest line it is an epic animation by the way just just saying this is a very 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 epic animation if i were to do a job interview kind of thing this animation needs to be in the job interview video that i do because um this is a very great animation um yes uh you can see here you're getting a free tanaka and you're getting a free version of the trinket and this trinket is the the version of trinkets that you can get um uh that you can that you that you can get the purple one it doesn't have the extra damage that it that the legendary one does um marco saying i have 20 percent more damage but the but reduce the boost for four percent after all skills are deployed stack four times is good for warhammer skills that, um, all skills are deployed and stacked four times good for warhammer skills. it is good if you're if you would be focusing on doing as much damage as you can, as quickly as you can. But since a lot of the battles I'm, I'm doing are longer battles, I don't think it's a very good uh, skill to have on a Warhammer. But that's just because... But if you were, for example, uh, would be... Uh, I was theor uh, theory crafting with Orange uh, uh, some time ago. Um, that receives vulnerability, uh, rage restoration, and, but it will lose the bonus after fighting for more than 12 seconds. So if you would try to see if you can make a build with, for example, 
does very high damage and, and other things in the first 20 seconds or 30 seconds of the battle, then leave the battle and go back into battle, yeah, that, that could be a thing. Um, if you can do a lot of damage in the first twenty percent, for the in the first twenty seconds of the um, of the battle, you can uh, you can sway the battle that much that you, you you sink one or two ships of the opponent before they can sink one of yours. That is a very good thing if you're doing that, but you do have to focus on that as well. And since a lot of the other skills uh, have the exact opposite, no one was one didn't want to go to him. There are a lot of other skills that do the exact opposite. The, the longer you're in battle, uh, for every 8 seconds in battle, the ship can deal 10% more blazing and drowning damage. And the effect can stack up to, tw up to 3 times. So in this case, you're getting stronger the longer the battle goes on. So focus on one, focus on the other. But uh, you can also switch them out that you have them both. Um, that's more of a generic thing. But I would say focus on one or the other because you want to go as quickly as possible or uh, defend and make sure that you become stronger the longer the battle lasts. So um, how do you lead extra characters accounts? I have no idea because uh, I have three now and I don't want to have to have an entire list of those. Um, I would like to have them uh, deleted, but I have no idea how I can. Um, and I have three characters. My 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 main character is in the end of season two. The second character I have is in the beginning of season two with the new skill tree and a new specialization tree, and that's and that sort of thing. That's what I why I made that character. And the other character is in like server three hundred and seventeen. That's in the beginning of season one, um, just to see if there are any different events going on. Um, in those servers than, uh, than I have for my main character because there's a lot of new players that are uh, coming to the server and they might be answering asking questions from for events that I have no idea what they're talking about because I don't have that anymore and I never have had that so that's why I got those characters but I don't want to have an entire list full of them uh, we get a Tanaka but zero cons F what? I don't know what you mean um did the no the, the the pity points didn't reset i i'm i'm glad that the pity points didn't reset because i want to have obi and i th hope these pity points go to season three and i have 43 out of 80 for uh for my for my obi pity points so uh, how to increase the speed of the ship is Aquara. How, hi Aquara, how are you doing? Uh, the speed of your ship can be increased in several ways. You can increase your ship speed by getting the bonuses for getting reverence or respect or reverence from a guild. If you get four gangster respect, you get 5%. If you get four gangster reverence, you get another 10%, these stack. So you get 15% from that. The other thing that you can do to increase the ship is put on a sailing sail on your flagship because the minis are faster than your flagship, but you want to increase the speed of your flagship. So in putting a sailing speed sail on your minis and have them sail behind your flagship doesn't do anything for the speed of your total thing. But you have to have a sailing speed sail on your flagship to increase your speed. So now you can see I have 240 and currently the best sailing speed sail that I have gotten so far is of the new ship part update. I do have to say that it's from the new ship part update because other ones, uh, the other one was like uh, 20, 20 percent and this is 22 and a half. So that is faster. I'm losing some armor in this case. You can see that I dropped to uh, 4100 armor instead of 47. Uh, but my sailing speed went up from 240 to 273. So if you're just peacefully sailing around on your server and don't have anybody attacking you or anything, just put on a sailing speed fill, sail and do more money. Um, um, but 
if you don't have that and uh, currently I <laughs> the reason I'm doing this most of all and have this uh, armor sit up armor sale on there is because of straight clashes <laughs> if people attack me while I have a sailing speed sale on there that and I lose by the by by just a small margin I'm like Damn it, I wish I had the armor uh, back on there. But um, you have two legendary Stormbringers. How did you get them? By being incredibly lucky, Ahmed. By being incredibly lucky. I, I got my first one, I think, on the third try I did. And then uh, I got another purple one after that. And I got another legendary one after that. I didn't even want those. I just made more ships to get more of the parts that you need to hone out the skills. I, I didn't even want to focus on the, 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 the parts, but I wanted to focus on, on these parts. I wanted to get more of these. So I want, just wanted to build another Stormbringer um, and, uh, and, and probably scrap it so I can get more of those parts. I never actually intended for another, another legendary Stormbringer. I got lucky, um, but Downside, you can't use two Stormbringers at the same time. I wish I could because one, I would have had my Blazing Stormbringer right here and I probably would have a Drowning Stormbringer right here and I would have done them both. But you can't because as soon as I click this one and change it out for the other Stormbringer and change it out for the other Stormbringer, this ship disappears. You can't use two ships of the same. Uh, you can't use. You cannot use two of the same ships. Dang it! Now I have to put on everything again. I didn't know I would have to do that. At least, this is sort of easy to do. Uh, Fearless Princess. I had Ophelia on there. I had Sharky on there, and I had. Cordelia on there. So yes, I've been lucky and no, I can't do anything with it. Um, uh, Andres said, did the cost of rage for heroes to use skill change? I noticed that there are little, that a little fire that says 800 now. Yes, um, I know what you mean. In this part, it always said 800. But if you're you previously were looking at this it still says two and this still says two um so that's a little inconsistent this says three this says five it's a little inconsistent so once on one screen it says eight uh, 800 and on the other screen it says like two or four or five so yeah it and since that's the only information that we got, I can't help anything any more than that. Double Storm would be sick. Yes, Double Stormbringer would be sick. Especially because one of those Stormbringers has increased Blazing Damage and decreased Drowning Damage. And the other one has increased Drowning Damage and decreased Blazing Damage. So it, I didn't only get lucky in getting two Stormbringers, but I also got lucky in that one is specifically for Drowning and one is specifically for bra Blazing. So I didn't even get two Blazing ones or, or anything else. I got one for Drowning and I got one for Blazing. Yes. Yes, that's the discrepancy you noticed. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's very weird to, to see that. Um, I don't know if you can remember the tutorial. Uh, if you're in the tutorial, the rage, you can. there's a rage counter that you have. There's a, a battle animation that you have to do and then you have to manually select the, the, the hero skill on, on your ship battle. And there's a rage counter on there and that rage, ca rage counter isn't, uh, isn't 800. It's like seven or nine, which is in, again different than because you're using like Henry Hell oh no you have to look here um, because in that case you're you're using like Henry Hell and that's two here 
on the battle animation in the tutorial, it's like eight or, or nine. And then on the other screen, it's 800. So beats me. I don't know. It uh, is, it's very inconsistent. Um, one show S2 hero that you have on, haven't unlocked. Yes, Adeline. Adeline is the one that I haven't unlocked. She's a gunner for and her for drowning so that means that she would have mad dogs precision in a drowning set uh, she performs the attack uh, t uh, performs three random attacks on uh, the fleet star on the target fleet uh, each attack will hit two random targets so does he do six then i don't know uh, each dealing uh, drowning damage equal to 108 of her attack when Adeline performs her skill and the skill deals damage, she will break the opponent's hull. And a hull broken means that there's a 10% probability that the following 5 seconds, one stack will be inflicted on the hull every 2 seconds at most one stack. So that gives more stacks of damage over time. Um... After Adeline has performed her skill, she will deal a drowning damage equal to 50% of her attack to at most 5 ships in the target fleet in 4 seconds. As the number of target, uh, targets increase, the damage will decrease. Uh, when the ship under Adeline's command deals 6% more damage over time, in addition, for every ship, every time her ship inflicts uh, taking what she gains two rage so two rage is a lot if it would take like five rage to complete the skill if it would to actually complete eight it take 800 rage to complete the skill this two rage is nothing so yeah i don't know but I think let let's let's think logically. Uh, the 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 ship under Adeline's command deals six percent more damage over time. In addition, every time her ship inflicts taking on water, and taking on water is a status that causes damage over time, and that's something that can be once every second. So every second, if you have, as long as you have the stacks there, um, uh, as long as you have the stacks there, every second she will gain two rage. So that's like twenty rage every ten seconds, and that means way more rage than is needed for her, for Barnacle, and for Eileen to do. So that would mean, that would, this would mean like, if, if the 800 was true, it would do very little. If the 3, 4, 5 rage is true, this would do massively. So I don't know if anyone has her, and anyone has her at least at rank, what's needed for her? What's the reason for this? Rank, rank 6, I think. And they can tell me. Um, but I would love to know that. How to unlock Ta Tanaka Saga. Um, the Tanaka Saga can only be done in if you're on a newer server that has gone to Season 2. I can't do that myself. I've, I can't. Uh, it's, it should be below here. You can't have that. So um, I got the free Tanaka that other people get from the saga uh, I got that one on this mysterious chest today so I'm getting the same free Tanaka I just don't have to do the saga so um, if you're saying that, uh, that, that that's, a, that's a free thing that you can get today or at least I got it today maybe, maybe you'll get it another day or already gotten it yesterday or maybe tomorrow um, we are entering season one after one day. Any tips? Uh, Ahmed, uh, tip number one is you're not, end you're not going into season two tomorrow. Because season two starts 
every Thursday to Friday night, at least at the on Fridays. Let's just say that. So if your season uh, one uh, end of season rewards say that you're ending the season one tomorrow, you will get your end of season one rewards, but season two will not start immediately after. So it could take you a week. Um, but what usually happens is on Tuesdays, you can get the event that says um, that is a cross server event with the two other servers you're going to be doing. Um, what's it called? The Trailblazer event. I was looking for the name. Um, that's something that will happen on Tuesday. That's a three day event. And as soon as that ends, then you will go to season two. And that has been for weeks and weeks and weeks now. And for all the servers that I have heard, it's always been on a Friday. So if you say you go, you're not going on, uh, on to season two today. Tips for when you do get on season two, save up every cons that you have. Save them all up. Save everything that you have. Because you want to start, you want to stop doing heroes and you want to start pulling this trinkets you want to have you in the entirety of season two you have to have like 50 purple trinkets to to actually make your heroes good so you have to sink in every single one of your uh conscious that you're getting into trinkets no more heroes all into trinkets and um you can see my trinkets you have trinkets, you have to scrap trinkets, then you get an item, and with that item, you can upgrade another trinket. So, yes, trinkets, trinkets, and trinkets. It's all there. Andres, uh, if you're asking trinkets, yes, trinkets! Um, um, so, that's, uh, that's, that's the thing. Uh, tips on guilds. Tips on guilds. Try to put on a sailing speed sail of a, a sailing speed sail. Go trading in a, a port and do that. Donate a hundred thousand gold to the guild every day, and you will be able to get warship before season one ends to at least one. Uh, it's, it has become easier to do that. Um, I almost have 10 million in one uh, of those. I focused every effort I had in this Golden Pyramid Alliance. And I think in the old way of doing it, I was the only one that has uh, achieved it as long as, as far as I know. Um, if, if anyone else has done it, uh, kudos for them. But I, I, as far as I know, I'm the only one that, that has gotten to Warship in Season 1 um, with, the, with, with at least a guild, with one guild. Um, it has gotten easier because you can get like 800,000 points from explore, exploring all the ports now with the, uh, the update from like two weeks ago. That's also why I got so much more points right now than I had needed for the 800,000. This has given me a lot of... Um, this has given me a lot of gold because I could use the highest amount of trade value um, in there. Um, so yeah, uh, might have answered this earlier, but with things depending on length of battle, uh, but that's but what's everyone take on water damage like fire and drowning versus imitate dang like artillery and cutthroat. So I don't I don't exactly know your your um, what you're asking, but what I'm sort of reading is um, if you're focusing on Longer battles, should you focus on drowning and blazing, and you're focusing on shorter battles, you could focus more on artillery and cutthroat. Yes. So if you're focusing more on short battles, strategic, cutthroat, and all those sort of things, if you're focusing on longer battles, do damage over time, uh, that's way more, uh, that's, that's a lot of uh, extra. I always miss these reports when, when they come up. They should be like, like, like half a second longer. Um, you got three warship in season two. Yes, I got three warship in season two, and I, I can even tell you guys, I am in season two. But currently, I have eight hundred thousand points in a season three guild. 
And I don't think that's possible. I don't think that should be possible, at least. So, uh, yeah, that's, 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 uh, that shouldn't be possible. But the way I got that, yeah, Bob's a cheater. No, I'm not a cheater. The way I got that is by putting on a sailing speed sail for a season three guild that apparently is now in there. You can see the elephant. That's a season three guild. And I had this elephant pattern right here. I just put, I just put it on. And I thought, what can happen? And apparently, I'm now gathering. Uh, uh, I'm now gathering this. Uh, this is if if this is a bug in the game, then it's a bug, and and I'm uh, then then it's done. But uh, I have I have reported it. I I I've I've been nice. I've I've not done anything to get it. I'm just taking advantage of it. And yes, Uga, I know you're doing the same thing and you have 1.6 million uh, um, reputation already in the guild that your that your sailing shield has. But I'm not I'm not that much of a of a PvP player the, late, uh, uh, the last couple of days. You're saying your guild has 1.7 billion in season one. You mean your gang, apparently, right? Illuminati Matrix. Um, I don't know what 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 did we have? Does anyone know how much we had? Uh oh, I'm I'm maxed out on the donations again. It's blinking. Yay! I can buy new stuff. Um, I'm not buying the purple ones. I'm not buying the blue ones. I'm all I'm am buying all the speed ups. Let's get them, get them speed ups, get them speed ups. I do find it very, very sad that the ship parts just are gone from here. I know why, because they wanted to phase out the old ship parts, but I do find it very sad that they're gone. Um, if you're reporting it, I mean, I'm in shambles, disgusting. What? Look, I'm 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 doing that so I can't be called a cheater on stream, right? I can't be called a cheater on stream because there's a bug. I am exploiting a bug right now. I know um, it's on my own risk, but I don't want to be called a cheater on stream, and I don't want to have the uh, um, I don't want to uh, get my account banned because I'm. Uh, I'm, I am cheating while live streaming and those sort of things. So, uh, how do you get to season two? There, uh, once your season one ends, uh, there will be a portal. Like, where are they? Those. There will be a portal like this. Go there. Uh, go there, and then you can. Uh, when this countdown hits zero. You have 10 minutes to travel and then 50 minutes it will be closed again. So every uh, uh, every hour it will be open for 10 minutes. So go there while it's open, go through and then you can uh, go to season two. You can go back and forth. Your season one map is permanent. Your season two map will not be permanent. A, 50, a 45 million person in your guild, is it real? Yes. No, we have a 54, uh, a 54 million power uh, person in our gang. So that's why I'm, if I, if I sort the power, we now have 3.9, but, and we're almost equal with 3.8 from uh, 55 V Vikings. So it's been a tough battle, but, unfor but fortunately, we had our alliance with uh, the 3.1 billion from uh, from the Storm Wolves. Um, someone's uh, saying a lot of about splashing damage. Um, is there something? A hero that explains that. Let's 
see if there's a hero that has that's taking on water taking on water taking on water i'm looking for you mate uh taking on water taking on water and it doesn't have any explanation further and this says taking on water says taking on water and says taking on water splashing damage is something that it should hit multiple targets but it isn't explained in the game we don't know how it actually works if splashing does one extra target two extra targets all of target fleet we have no idea so i don't know so i can't help you with that um i would love to help you with that but i can't help you with that so my apologies um yes more than uh one person hit it's like a shotgun versus a sniper it's spread out damage yes but how does it work i want to know how it works because i want to tell you bob tell me what's the best way to spend gems the best way to spend gems these emeralds are uh, in my opinion usually the baron's fleet i usually spend a lot of the gems in the baron's fleet and since i got a lot of emeralds from uh, exploring all the ports i have spent a lot of my uh, um, emeralds on these golden master pipe uh, things because this is the limiting factor in season two with upgrading your heroes this is the limit the limiting factor so every time in the baron's fleet that there are master pipes in there buy them buy them so you're getting a discounted amount of them um but buy them really do that's i think that's the best way to spend your gems if you're not getting a lot of them uh let's see if the gang racket has done something better not really this one takes too long let's get rid of him people please complete them because we want to have more space for refreshing complete your rackets please come on um let's see what else do the gold patterns get your special upgrade the gold patterns patterns what patterns I don't know what you mean my book um the yes yes the the gold patterns are guilt uh for for your ship for your sailing sp sail i danced them <laughs> that danced is show spreading love on the stream again um uh it's uh the sailing sail you can put a pattern on there that is equivalent to a gang um for so if no for a guild so you can uh, get more guild reputation that's the reason yes patterns on the flag um that's something you can uh you can do for the guild the golden ones all the guild ones and every time you beat a freighter a monster or another player your when you're and and uh, you gain uh, reputation points when you sail with their flag uh, with their flag on there uh season three servers will be merged i don't know uh season three i'm not in season three um season two has been like this three servers are being dropped in on a set on a on a on a specific map and we can fight each other in here but when we go back to our own season one server then that would mean that we're uh, that were safe from the other two servers so they can join our season one map but we can come to the season two map and fight each other what i know about season three is that there's not five uh, three servers but it's going to be six servers so uh, which ones are the best well the ones that you're focusing your uh, your your guild reputation on uh, lonely losers club um if you're focusing your guild on one, if you're focusing on one guild, then you should also be wearing that sailing sail. Focus on one guild, get that to the reputation level you want, and then start focusing on another guild. That's that's the advice I can have. Um, so that's that's mostly it. 
Um, the best way to increase the guild relation. The best way to increase the guild relation is to donate a hundred thousand. Uh, no, um, uh, one point three, one point four three million uh, um, to the governor every day. Um, like in here, try to do that on a port where your gang will, what your which your gang will own for a longer period of time. Let's just say that. If you're planning to own a, a port, focus it on there. Do this donate a hundred times a day. It will cost you a million, a million and a half each day, um, but you will be getting more points. Um, try to do a short trading route between two ports. That will include, give you less gold, but it will give you more reputation. Um, also, the other reason, ways to get reputation increase is put the sailing speed pattern of the sail on the sailing pattern on your uh, on your flagship, so that you can every time you beat something, you also get that. Um, do the commissions daily, daily commissions. Try to do them as well. Do these missions, buy some things, put it, uh, sell them in another port, and then you're done. And yes, I have 22 out of 15 because 15 is the max you can have by natural generation. But every time you do this 120 chest, you get another one. Uh, I'm not doing my commissions anymore because why focus on more um, gang re of a guild reputation when I have all three maxed already. So I'm not doing them. Have you already collect a new code? If not, there is C Queen 2024. Yes, I have collected the code. If you haven't done that already, I'm going to be copying it in the chat. So you can maybe copy it as well. Um, this is the code that you can have to uh, get some small rewards. Uh, it's International Women's Day. Um, so congratulations or anything. I don't know what you have to say on an international moment's day. Um, where is it? Really, this one. The Sea Queen 2024. You get an extra conch, you get 100 emeralds, and you get three 50 minute speed ups. 15 minute speed ups. Why is this red dot there? What can I do? What's. what's what am I not. Folk, what, what am I not doing? Why is that red dot there? There's nothing I can do. I can't upgrade trink. I can't even upgrade trinkets. Now the red dot's gone. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, what? What do I have to say? Congratulations for achieving the fact that you're a woman. I don't know. Uh, congratulations on on overcoming the the downsides of being a woman. I, I don't. Know. What do you What do you have to say? Uh, on Lester, it showed Bob or Ahab. What? Lester or Ahab? It showed something. Oh, yeah! You're right! I got myself a... Uh, some of those. Yeah, so in this case, I need one more. Uh, so I'm just going to be spending 100 emeralds on there. Let's... Do that. Now my Lester has become even stronger. I never noticed that I could do that. I already have. I, I pulled him like two days ago. So that's that's something I would could have done two days ago. Uh, if I'm going to spend money, what would you suggest is best? In season one, I've had a lot of uh, um, uh, well uh, spent money out of Cordelia and the Fearless Princess. Personally, because I have a um, because I'm a really big trader, I do like the 150 trades thing. Um, but that's that's because I'm new. Um, you can just have a very good trade route take three times as long. So I had like a five hour trade route that I usually did when I got to bed and when I uh, went out, uh, got out of bed in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom then I would just take out my phone, refresh the trade route and have it be for another five hours. And then I could just do one of the best trade routes there was on my season one map um, for the entire night. 
uh, with 150 trades. Um, as soon as you have to do that for 50 trades, you have to do a less efficient route, uh, which gives you less gold an hour, but gives you more in total for the entire night, but gives you less gold an hour. And uh, since gold was, was a limiting factor um, in season one uh, for me, uh, that was a very good one. Currently, I don't need it because I don't know. No, you can see. You can see because I'm covering the screen. Can you see? Can you guys see this? Yes, you can see that. 53.3 million gold. I don't think I need the 150 trades anymore. But at the uh, probably uh, soon it will become a, 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 um, a bottleneck for me again. But uh, currently I have 53 million gold and I also have like another 35 million gold in, uh, in these tokens. So I think I have enough. I, I think I have enough. Um, third builder thing, first thing someone should get. Yes, the third builder is someone, something uh, a person could get uh, this there's an idle one. Thanks for reminding me. Dance them. But um, yes, the third third builder is also one that uh, also a thing that you can uh, can get. This this gives you a lot of uh, a lot of extra time, uh, a lot of speed in the in the collection in the in the building of things. I am still thinking. It might not be good to actually build up the shipbuilder studies because it might take more time to build up the shipbuilder study. Then it saves you to uh, to do it. it. Then it saves you. So I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence on that one. To have this at the same level as your flagship, for example. To constantly be upgrading this. If you can do it like the first 10 levels, they're easy. They're, those are quick. Those are, they give you 10%. Um, uh, th those are, th that's not a problem. But uh, yes, um, I don't think it's good to have them upgraded on the, uh, to your flagship levels. I'm currently doing it because I want to test it. But I want to be upgrading one of these. I want to upgrade my flagship, upgrade one of these. And then, uh, then uh, first record all of the upgrade times from every single one. Then upgrade one of these, and then uh, then record them again, and then see how much they changed, and uh, how much it saves. Uh, so that's why I'm currently doing it. Uh, Shipbuilder is the best investment every time on every cabin. But yeah, but that's that's the point. If you're if it starts taking two days to upgrade one shipbuilder, the the amount of uh, on, of cabins you have to upgrade to get back those two days. That's 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 what I'm saying. It's just it it just sounds weird in my in my in in my uh, thoughts. Um, you need warship in season one. Uh, you don't need warship. I would, uh, I would rather go for four to reverence than one to warship, because four to reverence gives you a sailing speed bonus, and that sailing speed bonus increases your trade, uh, your trade routes as well. Um, I focused specifically on the warship one, um, also because it was a very good option to make a video out of it. Uh, if you want to see how I did it, Illuminati Matrix, there's a video on the channel um, that explains what I did. Uh, make a video on best trades route in terms of guild points and gold in Season 1 and Season 2. I have done that on Season 1, Illuminati Matrix. I haven't done that on Season 2 because um, it's basically the same thing. I would There's different ports, but you might your gang might not own those ports the ports that we're doing so i'm not going to be saying yes you have to go you have to own these two ports and then do that i'm not going to be doing that sorry um that's just that's that's it, it's basically the same as in season one um 
a red got rough calculations and you need 70 days to break even if you go from level 22 to 23 that is a rough approximation yes and then but it's not only for this level you have to have it for uh future you have it for future levels as well so i just like to calculate it just just i just i just want to calculate it okay i just want to see if it's actually better to upgrade it or if it's not um i just want to see the number i just i just want to calculate it and see the number that it gives me and then I can say it's good or it's bad. I don't know right now because I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I, I'm saying that my thoughts are that uh, that the increase of 1% is just not that much compared to it taking two days to do. But if I'm wrong and the math shows I'm wrong, I'm okay with it. Just I want to do the math first. I'm just going to say they decrease the build time with my VFP level by more than 50% at level 30 or 31 ship builder studies. I think they are necessary to upgrade. Yes, there's more. I think there's there's a lot more uh, uh, construction speed upgrades in VIP levels. No, construction. If, if you have a maximum, what's the maximum? 16. Your construction speed is like 20 percent so if your construction speed is like 20 percent more that's that's one shipbuilder study to 20 so and again it doesn't it doesn't it's it only says ready hands it doesn't say it decreases it by one percent it never says that anywhere so I just want to know. I just want to calculate it. Ah, the Baron's here again. To so, well, to the person that was saying, how do you spend your money? How do you spend your emeralds? When it's eighty percent off on a conch, I do that. Uh, I don't spend on the purple ones. I only spend on the purple ones when there's gold. I only spend on the golden ones when it's also like sixty percent or eighty percent off. And otherwise, I spend my emeralds always on these speed upgrades then i refresh it again now it's 50 percent off these ones i would like to have uh there's again a 100 one for that i can get myself another couple of speed ups and then i'm done that's how i spend my emeralds uh that's true vip matters yes but not that much for building speed specifically vip matters v vip matters a lot but for build out speed specifically not uh a red um is the sand of eons event going to be back sand of eons event sea of voyage also the sea of voyage hasn't started in my season two when will it will more that happens you need to providence I don't know. Did you just start season two today? Uh, just a man. I don't know. I'm I'm done with season two, so mine is already gone. Yes, I got two eighty percent conscious. That's that's my luck, Orange. Um, and then and then then I would, I have about forty six percent reduction with all my shipbuilders at twenty two percent. So yeah, that's not. That's not. Uh, that's not 1% uh, reduction for every one level that you have. Do you have three as well, and uh, then Flag Guild have points. Uh, yes, if you put the flag on... Uh, if you put the pattern on your flagship from the guild that you want to have the reputation of, you're getting reputation from that guild. And yes, I have a, a, a season three sale on there. That shouldn't be possible, for, but for some reason it is. Since you are close to 27, it should be good to upgrade them anyway at last to 25, I guess. Yes, but I'm, I'm somehow reluctant. I'm, I don't want to go to the next level. I'm, 
if I wanted to have level 27 or 28, I would have could have done that already. I could have been, I think, level 27 at least, and maybe 28 uh, as well with the speed ups. But I I focused my speed ups on uh, on stargazing. Every speed up I've gotten in the last three to four weeks. And any general one, so no, not the not the stargazing or construction speed up one, but these general ones have gone to my uh, uh, has gone to my stargazing instead of my um, uh, shipbuilding because you can get a shipbuilding, you can get twenty thousand power on that one, but if you're like you're you're upgrading like your 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 chicken coop that gives you like 10,000 power. Well, great. I now get more chickens that I'm not using on the ship. I don't even have space to put it anywhere. And um, if you if, if you have to use speed ups to complete it, I'm done with that. So I'm focusing on these astrology things. I'm getting 158 armor. I'm getting 155 impact. I'm getting 200 attack. I'm getting attack bonuses, I'm getting HP bonuses, I'm getting a sailor port replenishment rate, I got critical resistance, construction speed, impact increases, I'm getting all sorts of boosts from every time I complete a thing right here. This takes one day to complete and every time we do, I do it, it takes me, it gives me a power upgrade. It gives me two more armor that gives me 8,000 power, but it actually is useful in battle because the not uh, a lot of the cabins aren't useful in battle. That gives you power. It gives you fake power, but it's not any use in battle. These give you use. Focus on your stargazing. All of the general speed ups should go to stargazing. Your ship level will be lower. I know. But after you've passed level 22 and gotten another ship uh, uh, from the level 22, then focus everything you have on the astrology chamber. Um, when you're getting close to 31 again, you should switch back to focusing on that because you want to have that extra ship. If you want to have that extra ship that gives you, that gives you such a massive power increase, that one extra ship that you should always focus on that but apart from that focus on the astrology chamber because i am the strongest level 26 player that is on these three servers combined i can beat level 27 level 28 i even beat a level 29 once in uh, the straight clashes but he didn't have his minis upgraded as well but so that's that's a sort of disclaimer. But I you you can beat so many things if you focus on your stargazing. Uh, do the cigars upgrade your heroes automatically? No, they don't. You need to buy them. You need to do it. Auto you need to do that manually. Um, you must spend them on the skill individually. Yes. How do you do that? By going on there, going to the skill, and then clicking on. The bar that's here that says the requirement let's see i think this one still has it yes i need 40 of them and then after i get 40 this bar bar will become a yellow color again and then you can click it and you can upgrade them uh you got a bunch of figures arm and it doesn't say i can use them yes but you can only use them when Every 10 levels of your heroes. When your hero is getting level 80, you can go up to level 8 on this. If your hero is on level 70, you can go up from 6 to 7. You have to have your hero at every 10 levels, you can go up 1. After that, all of these require more hero ranks. So, uh, after when you get to hero rank 6, you will be able to upgrade this skill with 5 more uh, uh pipes to the to, to level two as well but that's that's rank based the first skill is level based all of the other skills are rank based yes exactly that's what uh, orange was saying orange is sort of my narrator right now every every question i'm answering he's he's narrating sort of 
but he's a lot shorter in his answers, so he might be better than me. <laughs> Uh, once explain about enter season one and season two. You mean the end of season one to season two? When your season one ends, your you will gain your end of season rewards. Like these, um, the the new season will start. Guys, did we notice this? It says when. Did we notice this? It says when there will be issued. This was unknown before, right? Orange, Uga, uh, Denston, maybe uh, anyone else on my server. Um, this was unknown before, right? So now we know for certain that the 17th, this will be given. But at least, going back to the story. Um, yes, I talked to Uga last night, this morning. Okay, yes. Um, uh, the, this this is the, the, this was unknown for us earlier. But as soon as these are given out, your season will end right here. But that doesn't mean you will begin your season in the next. Uh, in you'll begin your next season the day after. That is not happening because you have other servers you have to line up with. They have to finish their end of season rewards. They have to have a, a little bit of downtime in between those. So when those end, uh, all of the other servers that you're going to get paired with also have to end their end of season. Um, you commented on it last yesterday. Well, you've known it for three days. Yeah, well, sorry, I didn't listen. I talk a lot. I don't listen a lot. But um, <laughs> um, let's say you've also known it for three days yes but but that that's because you're, you're you guys are brothers you you, you 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 talk in real life as well i don't have anyone to talk about the game in real life as well with other than my girlfriend but she doesn't listen so uh she pretends just like she's listening people told me a week ago but i didn't believe yeah well it probably was because of the calendar the calendar was ending no it doesn't line up with the calendar. So you're getting the 17th it was, right? But it doesn't line up with the calendar. <laughs> Damn it. Um, yes, on the top of the hour for every 20 minutes, for every, every 10 minutes. Oh, if that's the answer that you were looking for, Orange helped you out with the answer. That's a very short answer, and I was trying to give the 10 minute long answer. Um, but that's a lot of shorter. How much time there is between the end of the Lord of the Sea event and the start of a new one? It's always one week up, one week down. So it's every other week. So you have one week of Lord of the Sea, one week without. Then it starts again. So it always is, uh, it, ha it always has been that pattern, unless they change it. That's the pattern. That's the pattern I know of so far. Uh, remember, we didn't get S1 heroes at the beginning of S2. Probably happening the same now. So that's why they do not show on calendar. Yes, but I'm just seeing that it doesn't line up with with the the calendar moments. It doesn't. The end of season reward doesn't line up, for example, with the twenty second. Or, or something like that. And then this three day event is another trailblazer event for something, you know, this three day is giving me the idea that there's gonna be another sort of trailblazer event type, type of thing. But us ending on the 17th until the 22nd, that's, that's like five days of actually being in season one, apparently, uh, probably. Um, with the end of season rewards given out, you probably won't be in season two anymore. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. I think they should give us a season one selector. Yes, you can think that. But as long as they don't think that, it's not going to happen. Sorry. Uh, worth only for speed. Uh, then the six star hook is better than a one star gold. Or am I wrong? Um... Gold trinkets are amazing. Is there uh, is the hero weapons with getting is is the hero weapons worth worth getting? 
yes, the hero weapons are worth getting. Uh, I only have the Tanaka one because I don't have that amount of cold conscious and I haven't been um, an, uh, very lucky with, with, with those trinkets. Um, I've had my luck elsewhere, just not with the trinkets. Um, I haven't spent any extra on them as well. So that's, that's, I have to say that as well. But uh, I spent most of my co normal conscious on these trinkets. Um, and most of my uh, golden conscious I've sp actually spent on uh, Tanaka uh, of getting him uh, getting him upgraded. I have with the free version that with the free rank that we got today, I at least got him to rank four now. So that's a good thing. Uh, on seventeen, just getting the season rewards. Yes, I think we're just getting the end of season rewards. We might not the map might not close, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, so you can get a bones. Yes, you want to get a bones. But yes, you should have spent on them. If, if you wanted him, you should have spent on him when he was in the rotation. He, he's not in the rotation anymore. And he probably won't be for another five weeks. So you're not getting bones until that point. Uh, I think on 17 timer to end season 2 starts. Then we need to wait a week in season 1. Don't know how it goes. Yeah, I don't know either. We'll 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 just have to see. Uh, everyone says put all hook on heroes is why I ask. Yes, um, I am of the same opinion to put hooks on everything, just mostly. Uh, the legendary ones are better for stats. So, a fully upgraded six star one is better. Uh, isn't. Uh, is about equal as a not upgraded legendary one. So in this case, because usually they have better skills at the bottom, I use those. But um, I'm I'm using Tyrant's Hands on all of the other ones, except if they're legendary trinkets. So that's what I'm using. I'm using Tyrant Hands on everyone... Uh, um, except if I can have a better legendary trinket because those legendary trinkets have about the equal amount of uh, uh, strength, constitution, agility, dexterity and speed added um, but they don't have um, but they have better, better stats at the bottom so that's why I'm using those That's why. So let's see. Uh, unkillable Bob, what sea level can you get level 26 items? I think they were from level 42. But that was in the previous update. You will get level 25 items from the four, from the 42 onwards. So I think you will get, be able to get the 20, 21 items from the same level at least. So... Um, Unkillable, it would say left 35-ish, but I'm not sure, but I'm not 100%. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, because we were getting level 25 ship parts way before we were, before the update. So, and we are all doing level 50 monsters right now and still getting level 21 parts. So, I don't know what the threshold, where the threshold is. I just, I don't want to try and go below level 40s to, to, to try it. So, sorry. Um, I want to say 35. Yeah. Are the heroes random? Because I still don't have Sharky or Ahab. Yes, the heroes are random. Ask Orange. He uh, is uh, on my server. And we can celebrate the fact that Orange has actually gotten his first Ahab pull. He has gotten his first Ahab pull this week. He's probably been playing another 80 days, just like me. And he got Ahab this week. No, 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 you're not an Ahab, no Abraham bros, man. You're, you're, not an, uh, no, you're, you're not part of that club again. But you did get an Ahab, finally. End of season two, finally you have Ahab unlocked. Yes, now you need him to rank through three to actually um, get an extra shield in there. To get an extra allied ship shield shielded. Let's clear out that. Um, 
Yours is still four stars. Yeah, same. Mine is also four stars. No, five. Apparently. Never noticed. Uh, I didn't notice. It was apparently minus five. So I have announced as well. I have heroes. I have. Sorry, there's something in the screen. Ah, I can't see. I can't see your message. Sorry. Um, let's see. Three more months for R three. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Do you recommend using emeralds for VIP levels? You mean getting more and using emeralds for this? No, no, I don't. Because the only benefit from having more VIP levels is that you can might maybe have more production. If, if you were on this threshold from nine to 10, for an extra thousand capacity of port sailors, maybe. But on if you're on the threshold for going from uh, uh, 10 to 15 percent wood productivity, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not spending emeralds on upgrading my VIP level. No, I'm not doing that. If you mean on these type of things, then yes, these are worth it because they're they're uh, they're pretty to have they have pretty significant discounts on them so these are worth it and especially when it's gold and i have a, an abundance of gold right now i have so much gold that i don't know where uh, how to spend all of it so i'm spending it right here um but these yes they are worth it to buy things uh, like these speed ups for example um but i wouldn't buy i wouldn't buy these with emeralds no Yay, got myself another. Can I get myself another hero level in, in Queen Landing? Yes. That's another that's another level. Queen is coming coming closer and closer to level 80. Um you have to I have to announce as well I have all heroes through season two. So you have any everything unlocked, or you mean you have both Adeline or Tanaka? uh boa just needs level eight star to get three stacks i don't see a reason to take her above well i can't i can't talk with you a lot about boa because i don't have boa so i don't know i can't talk to you about that with you about that anything i do is reading off of the the comments so yes all heroes unlocked yes i see thanks for the insights no problem um that thousand extra sailors is gonna be nice yes that's that's gonna be nice that is gonna be nice of course but it's yeah it's it's it that that's that's a good thing especially for orange or uga or denston who are in chat right now those guys go through sailors like like it's water they don't do yeah you're you, you got your guys are monsters in the um Let's see, trophies, general. We have our resident whales, and then there's Bad Orange, who's a level 25 ship, but he is fourth on our server in general trophies. And then we have Uga, who's a level 24 ship, who started playing a couple weeks late, and has 20 million trophies, and is 13th. And I'm, uh, and I'm only 29th. So, yes, 44 million, like four times as many as as I have. So that's a lot. Um, you like to break stuff and sink people. Yes, those amount of trophies prove that. Uh, I had a 20 saw 20. Uh, uh, you had a level 27 guy. You mean in your gang with only 3 million trophies? Yeah, that doesn't mean he doesn't he, he doesn't in, do much for 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 your fights against uh, against other other gangs. Uh, question on trophies: Do you only get them from PvP? Um, these amounts, yes. 
If you attack a tower, you will also be getting trophies. Let's see. I attacked the tower this morning right here. See? I got 50 trophies. So you can get them from towers. You can get them from ports as well, as Orange is saying. Yes, but the amounts are abysmal. And um, attack one player once and you get... A significant more um, a significantly higher amount so yeah so um that's something yeah. he's in my gang until yesterday he was complaining he was being punished when i saw his throwers he got booted <laughs> he was complaining before he got booted or he was complaining after he got booted <laughs> Um, how do I use the level 16 sense of Eon? I don't know. Um, what's the sense of Eon again? Can someone remind me what the sense of Eon is? I might have. I may or may not have forgotten. Is that the. No, that's the Golden Compass. The Stormhorn Soul. I think hourglass wrist triggers fail. No, so I thought that maybe the uh, uh, a, 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 an, an artifact. I don't know what. I don't know what the sense of the sense of eon is. It's a term that I'm not familiar with right now. I don't want to be joining any more communities. It's not like you're actually communicating on those shots fired. Come on, people, complete them. Complete, complete your gang records, please. Because I want to do more. Um, Kenshin impact item. That's what Google said. <laughs> That's another game. Kenshin is something, is, is another game, right? It's in your inventory. If you can find me on disc on the SOC Discord, send me a screenshot. I wanna I wanna see now. I know uh, if you're on the SOC Discord, you can you can add numbers, Bob, uh, to 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 um, uh, to a to a post that you're doing there. And please, if you can do that, send a screenshot. Now I wanna know. I don't I can't answer anything because I have no idea. No, it's not an artifact, Danston. It's we. I, I already checked the artifact list. I don't know what it is. Someone get this guy the Discord link. Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. I want to know now. Um, when you go to upgrade a cabin, you can see an icon on the right side to use. If your cabin is too high a level, use them to upgrade. When you go to upgrade the ship, you can see an icon on the left on the side to use. If your cabin is too high a level, use them to upgrade cannon. I don't understand. I don't understand your message. Sorry. My apologies. I don't understand the message. Oh, you got it. Now I want to know. What was it? <laughs> what was it? What am I missing? It doesn't have anything to do with stowing, right? No. Unsafe changes, yes. Go back. Ah, now I don't know what you're talking, what you guys are talking about. Are you purposefully excluding me? <laughs> Some instant build item. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Was that to... Are those items that you need? to to upgrade more space in your in your in your in your ship maybe it's the eon items to upgrade yeah that doesn't say anything to me S still 
I don't know what the Eon items are. I, I've never. I, I don't think I've ever seen seen them. Uh, Wendon, look your heroes, please. What where here? What heroes? Do you mean the heroes that I have all on my ships, or do you mean the heroes that I have in general? Um, is there any purpose to uh, ship designs in inventory? I have like twenty of the Black Raven, but I've had the Black Raven for ages. On your ships, yes. I can look at the things that I have on my ships, of course. Um, you might release them again, try for a better one. I don't know. I don't know what you're asking as well, Matthew. Is there any purpose to ship designs in inventory? I have 20 on the Black Raven, but I've had the Black Raven for ages. Oh, I remember it was the Trailblazer event. Where you got... Your guys are, you're, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so I at least can explain my heroes on the ship. I have Ahab, Cursed Ed, and Armstrong on my flagship with a Blade of Freedom set on there to have maximum amount of armor and maximum amount of HP and also have trinkets on there for aggro uh, so that this ship is higher, I have a higher chance to be attacked than the other ships. Um, I have a Stormbringer with Blazing set, Lester, Tanaka or Will, and if you don't have Tanaka on the Season 1, you can change him out for... where is he? Where is he gone? Oh yeah, well, here, Will. You can change him out for Will, and uh, I have a Fearless Princess that usually should be for strategic damage, but since I only have a Griffin on there uh, for strategic damage, I'm not using them. I had a good Ophelia, I had a good Sharky, and I put Cordelia on there. Cordelia, um, her heal is dependent on the ship's attack. So if you put her on an attack ship, it does more than heal. Because if I were to put it on my um, flagship, it will only do a third of the heal that it does when it's on that ship. And then again, I have a Warhammer, a built one from Season 2. Um, and I put Bones and Luna on there for the Cutthroat. And then again, Lula, Lulu for the extra um, uh, heal on there because that's also a high thing. And I focused on impact stat because I have a very good impact uh, based stat on this one. For every seven and a half, I, I do an armor piercing effect. For every 20, I do an armor piercing effect of uh, seven and a half. So I armor pierce like 1100. Uh, armor of my opponents so that's that's a good thing i think so that's uh those are my heroes um uh, who was it who was it when done oh when then i forgot to ask how are you doing um possibly just a glitch that left in the inventory yes you have i have several items in there that i'm probably not be able to do uh, there was an event called Sailboat Racing, like Lord of the Sea, and you got Sands of Eons in different levels, like 22 or 24, that instantly upgraded any cannon still that level. Well, that probably would have been a newer server thing, because I cannot remember me ever doing such an event. Uh, Denston still have hundreds of roses left from the Valentine's event. Yes, I can imagine, with your flagship, your... Uh, exclude your 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 sailing around spreading those roses are around the entire server so prof from so stuff from previous events just stays in your inventory yes i've been playing another game uh previous to this uh for like two or three years and there were also events that had single amount of items that you were just using for that event and that were still there in my inventory for two years so um yes that that clutters the inventory quite a lot um but don't expect them to go away uh anytime soon just be surprised and be pleasantly surprised if they actually uh, do at some point so um we're like three and a half hours three and a half hours in right now um i think i'm gonna be calling it a day for now uh my throat is getting pretty sore um and uh I don't think I have anything to talk about anything where I haven't already talked about like four times already today. So, um, yes, I want to do some uh, some testing soon. Uh, I want to be putting out a video as soon as possible. Uh, if you guys like the Magnus video, uh, yes, I want to be doing uh, more of those videos. Um, I'm just curious. 
Did any of you noticed what voice was on Magnus? Did any of you actually recognize the voice that I was trying to put on Magnus? Who has seen my video? Just just put put your guesses in chat, please. I wanna I wanna see I wanna see if they if if, if anybody actually noticed. Did anyone notice what voice I used for the AI of Magnus? Who was he supposed to be? So, Denston didn't notice. That, that's a no. It was supposed to be... It was supposed to be... Um, Dark Bob. No, it wasn't Dark Bob. The Bad King says no. Oh my god, I was... It sounded like a ro gener gener generic robotic voice. I watched it, of course. It was supposed to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson, mate. It was supposed to be Dwayne Johnson. Darth Bob. No, it was supposed to be Dwayne Johnson. Just look, look. I, now you know that it was supposed to be Dwayne Johnson. Now that you know that it was supposed to be Blaine, Dwayne Johnson, do you now recognize the voice if you hear it right now? Let's let me go let me go to the video and go watch it on YouTube. No, I'm now watching commercials. There we go. Do you guys recognize the voice now? Do you notice now? Please tell me you noticed. You cannot hear it. Oh, that's the same. Um, I never mean it. Yeah, it was supposed to be Dwayne Johnson. Okay, so um, maybe have better AI voices. So that's something I have to uh, look into for the next part. But I was trying to make, uh, uh, I wanted to give every hero a celebrity voice. That was my intention to do. So um, apparently that didn't work for him. Um, you got an ad for the live. Yeah, uh, last week I've gotten to the 1K. Um, I've gotten from across the 1K uh, um, threshold. Um, that means that there are gonna be some ads in uh, in the in the videos or maybe even on the live streams. I try to minimize them on the live streams, but uh, I can still be here. Um, um, uh, that means that I'll be earning some money on it and I'm not uh, trying to, I'm, I'm only going to be spending money on software to be making the better videos or maybe uh, better mics or maybe some, some things to, to make the YouTube better. I'm not going to be spending them on anything else. So any money I'm earning that, uh, is going to be, um, uh, yes, that, that does mean that I got monetized. Yes. And I'm very happy about it. And, uh, I didn't never, I never expected to, to have that happen. But uh, yes, I have uh, I have been monetized uh, for like a week now. So um, as I said, uh, any money that I earn from from the voice is going to be back into the uh, it's going to go back into the YouTube. I'm not going to be using anything for like in the game. I'm not going to be buying myself a power hammer or or anything. I'm not going to be wailing around in the in the game. No, I'm I'm just going to be uh, playing the same as I did before. Um, try to enjoy the game as I enjoy, uh, like like a like I wanna uh, do the, the game, and um, uh, I wanna be making more videos, um, and that's what I, what being monetized gives me. The uh, more, uh, um, do you get, still get revenue of people use premium? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I've heard that, yes, that you're still getting that, but I know that was with Twitch and not with YouTube, so I don't know how it's supposed to be in YouTube. So, um, my friend got monetized once, I got so many women, he was never, he was, <laughs> he got so many, never to say. Well, I have a steady girlfriend, I'm not going to be getting, 
I'm gonna not going to be changing anything. Um, the only thing is that I'm going to be changing uh, some things on the YouTube. Um, uh, I hope for the better. So um, that's something I'm doing back to you. I'm giving back to you guys. So um, yes, um, thank you at least for the support. And as I said earlier, thank you for uh, uh, the amount of subscribers right now. I, it's like at where is it at? It's like 1140 right now. So yes, uh, thank you very much for uh, for all the subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Um, I'm streaming every Friday at 2 p.m. UTC. That's like three and a half hours ago from today, from now. So um, wherever your time zone is, deduct three and a half hours. And then I start every Friday. Um, I'm going to be dropping more videos, uh, hoping to do a weekly uh, hero interview thing, review thing, thing like I did with Magnus this week uh, with a new concept and I'll be going back to the guide videos as soon as I can um, as well. Um, and uh, yeah, well, thanks for, for joining me today. Thanks for, for being here. Um, and uh, I wish you all a very good weekend. Hope you all have uh, some time off to uh, to enjoy, enjoy some uh, Sea of Conquest. So um, I hope you all are having an amazing day. And uh, I, I'll see you all uh, next week. I hope to see you all next week at least. So goodbye.